milk, crate, marauder. <laughs> so now you, now you guys, you toss, you toss them both? Yeah, Beetlejuice. You like Antos? Yeah. What? And you toss by the bed. Like a salad. I got their toss salad. You can toss like what? Toss salad. Like a salad? Salad bar. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, right? <laughs> All the you can't eat. All right. <laughs> this is baby, Bob, Bo, baby Baba Boy. <laughs> yeah. That's my name. <laughs> don't wear it out. Oh, don't hit the crowd. <laughs> That's my name. Don't wear it out. Now, right now, just before we get to news, Robin, there is a midget out there. Oh, and then we must stop the show. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> this midget called us and says he wants to shave his girlfriend's head on the air. What's that all about? I just think it's funny when a midget gets a normal-sized girlfriend. And the guys are saying the girlfriend's pretty good looking, so I never know what to think of this. Oh. But then they were out in the hall fighting because the girlfriend found out the midget was cheating on her. Oh, oh it had nothing what? to do with the cutting of the hair. Yeah, and she got pissed off, and now she doesn't ensure yeah, she how wants to get it. a midget cheat on you. And then the midget brought one of his midget friends. We got oh. a whole carnival going. A black guy with a tiny, tiny head called Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know where to start with this. All right, bring everyone in, Casey. Stop looking at me. This is ridiculous. No, I'm, I'm waiting for you to bring everyone in. Well, that certainly is not a midget. Wow. Well, who's the big tall guy? He's the manager, probably. Here come the midgets. And they're wearing white. <laughs> well, the manager guy, I've seen you down here before, haven't I? I yeah. tossing my brother, huh? Yeah, you were tossing dwarves. Yeah. What is your story? You just you like a guy who just hangs around with midgets? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. How are you doing, guys? Yeah. All right. All right, let me get this straight now. Uh, God, these microphones are hissing. Metal. I can't tell yeah, you. Yeah, we have more than one guest, so you have to have them all on. Be the middle. I can't tell you how bad that is, but I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with this. No, just sit right down. Okay. All right, you guys are taking an hour to get in your chairs. <laughs> well, they do have special problems. All right, now uh, Beetlejuice. You're a, a black guy, right? Beetlejuice. Yeah. Yeah. Get a mic. Get a in mic. Front of him. Casey, you gotta really smarten up, pal. Just get the mic in front of Beetlejuice. Look at what's going on here. <laughs> Can I talk to one of you guys? <laughs> hey. Hey, how's it going? All right. I don't want to spend the whole show on this. All right. Beetlejuice. <laughs> Beetlejuice, what's your story? Where, uh, what, 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 uh, where did you come from? Are you an entertainer? or? Yeah. You are. Where, do you, where can we see someone like you? You have a very tiny head. I got a big head. Yeah, you got a small head. I got a head large. You think it's large? Yeah. I think it's a small head. Yeah. It's a small head. Yeah. Remember that Beetle, the middle, the movie Beetlejuice? Yeah. I did, I did that. All right. All right. Angel does. All right. Oh, the dwarf is drunk. I <laughs> can tell that. Yeah, I was going to say, I encountered them in the hall, and I was always knocked so, over by the fumes. All right, Sean, you're the big guy. Let me get this straight. Yeah. Frank, you're the white midget that we had down here the other time, right? The, yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, that he tosses. Yeah, you're the guy that goes to dwarf tossing. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Thanks exactly. to you. We've been doing a lot of shows. I would appreciate it. Good. And how do you know Beetlejuice? Great. He lives in the neighborhood by us. I'm no kidding. In the neighborhood, yeah. What is it, radiation in that neighborhood? All <laughs> well, you guys are midgets. <laughs> what is this, Love Canal? <laughs> Beetlejuice, you have any brothers and sisters? Yeah, I got my father. And are they normal uh, size? Are they normal size? No, they're bigger. <laughs> they're bigger than you? Yeah. So you're the one who got stuck with the midget thing? No, I'm the tallest. Cause I'm, 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 you're the tallest? Yeah, I'm the tallest. Wow. Totally. Are your mother and me? father uh, about, normal height? Totally. Me? I'm about four seven, four yeah. and a half. And you're the tallest one out of all your brothers and sisters? Yeah. Wow. So they what about his mother and father? So they're midgets too. Your brothers and sisters. Uh they they tall the same size or really. Oh wow. I don't know if he's admitting to it. Yeah. Oh you're saying you're not a midget? Nah. Well, sure you are. Dwarf. You're a dwarf. Yeah. Oh, so, you, so you're a dwarf. I don't know the difference, but you're saying that you're a dwarf and all your brothers and sisters are dwarfs. Yeah. Are your parents dwarfs? No. Nah. No. Wow. wow. I'm the only person. No kidding. Wow. And when you say you're in show business, do you get to to uh, tossed also in bars? Yeah. Oh, I see. Sean picks you up and throws you? Yeah. I see. And you make a lot of money doing that? Yeah. Yeah. Do you get drunk when you do this? Yeah. You'd almost have to be. Yeah. Yes. It helps. Yeah. I swear those headphones look like they're going to crush your head like a walnut. Uh, it happens like that. Right. And, and uh, Frank, you always are drunk also, right? Well, I'm trying to slow down. Yeah, because you're a dwarf also. And, yes. Right. You drunk now? 
No. You are not. Hey. Is, that, is this girl out here really your girlfriend? Yes, she yeah. is. And why was How she long calling? Have you been together. Well, we we've been together since June. Well, bring her in. Why was she crying out in the hallway? Well, she actually. It's a very good-looking woman. I, I mean, it's shocking that you have a woman this tall. Is this really your girlfriend? Yes, sir. Really? Yeah, it yeah. really is. This is a beautiful, beautiful woman. What's her name? Are you a stripper? Good you were, you were, you were. I believe you were a stripper before she met Frank. I'd pay to see you naked. <laughs> you were out in the hallway crying. I'm not doing it. Wait, you can't go. You can't go up there. Why not? What's the matter? Why won't Why won't you go on? Because I'm really upset that he cheated on me. I'm really. I mean, I know it's hard to believe, but I really fell in love with this guy. I mean, we have a lot of fun together and everything, and he promised that he wasn't going to cheat on me, and he did. And I've been fighting with him the whole way here, and I'm really stressed, so he can go fuck himself. Why are you crying? What happened? Um, I just found out that Frank cheated on me again. Again? Again. again. Frank, a dwarf is getting laid that much that he would cheat on you? You would think a dwarf would be thrilled to have someone look at Look at the body on you. That's what I thought, you know somebody would finally you'd find a guy who wouldn't cheat on you you're gorgeous thanks why are you cheating on her are you crazy well i i do a lot of gigs because of you right you know a lot of bachelor parties thank right. you Howard. no well, listen i'm glad i could help you yeah and um so now that she doesn't trust me i go to she has a i have to take her everywhere i go all right so um i like i like big breasts right you know and i told her I guess they're, you know, she has, um, she has a big breast. Oh, you wanted to get breast implants? Yes. Beetlejuice is snoring into that. <laughs> Did he pass out? You all right, bro? All right. I'm just making, I'm just making sure you're all right. I'm okay. Okay. Wait till you see this on TV. Oh, my goodness. So wait, wait a second. You said to your girlfriend, who cares if she has bigger breasts? She's gorgeous. He needs this. I got the eye level. I'm I like, see you practically crying right now. Is it, are you tired of being treated by men like this, especially a midget? Exactly. Yeah, you have bad times I with thought, regular sized people, right? Did you Did you go out with him because you think, well, he's going to really worship you? Yeah, I thought that things would be different. And I mean, usually guys end up dumping on, on me, cheating on me eventually right. throughout the relationship. And I thought I finally found someone that I could be stable with. I mean, we, it's been pretty crazy with us and everything, right. but I figured figured we'd be able to settle down right. kind of and maybe start a relationship and have an ordinary life right but he's just he's wild he's drunk all the time he he's I, I don't even know what he does you could get any guy you want I, I can't take it anymore i'm really really hurt i really trusted him again and he just so this is totally the, betrayed the, the second time he's cheated on you this is like the probably the fifth time oh my God. maybe you like it because you are really pretty i've we've only been together two and a half months yeah and he's cheated on you five times already you get yeah. laid a lot don't you yeah i would she works in a strip she's a stripper right i was and a stripper right i'm not a stripper anymore frank well, You'd be better off with J. Michael Vincent. She's working, I'm working. I don't want to know what she's doing. Yeah. Oh, so you figure you right. don't have to be faithful. But how is it that you're getting so many women? I mean, this is a good-looking woman. Most guys would die for a stripper. I never cheated on her. Don't lie. I never. You are so foolish. You never caught him cheating. You accused him. He admitted to me one night when he was really drunk that he did cheat on me. I come in to pick you guys up in the morning. I find panties on the floor. That was my wife. I find phone numbers all over the place. And I called a few of them back, and they turn out to be women's answering machines. I mean, come on. I'm not an idiot. I've been through it once before. We do bachelorette parties, too. Uh, I don't buy that. it. We do bachelorette parties. Ain't he already thing. admitted to cheating on me. Come I don't on, remember. Sean. I don't remember. Yeah, well, that's because you're drinking too much. Well, what caused you to cry today? Go out with me. Never mind I him. I just found out that he was cheating on me again when he promised that he wasn't going to do it anymore. But how did you find out he's saying he never did it? I don't believe him. No. Jackie, what? I don't know what's going on. Something's up. I mean, this is unbelievable. How did it come to light today? Why did you get upset today? Because well, I because he told me that he wasn't going to do it again, and I trusted him. And he told you this today that he did? No, well, no. I went to pick him up, and I found the panties in the bedroom. They didn't even sleep. They were drinking all night. Last I mean, uh, it looked Saturday. like there was a big party in the bedroom. So, Frank, are you in love with her? Yes, I am. You are? I want her back. You want her bed? I want her back. You want her back? She left yeah. you? <laughs> are you leaving him? I haven't left him I'm yet, but I am her. really thinking about it. Yeah. Why don't you give her a kiss? I don't want to go through this yeah, anymore. Why don't you give her a kiss and tell her you love her? Big wet oh, I tried. 
She won't let me. Why? Yes, she will. Go ahead. Give her a kiss. She might. <laughs> Give her a kiss. Come on, Give her a tongue kiss. kiss. Come on. Oh, tongue kiss. Back. Give her a make-out kiss. Yeah. Come on, Beetle. Kiss. Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I think they're back. I think they're back together. Not wait. I think they're back together. No, <laughs> She's very upset. All right, listen. Kiss Beetlejuice. <laughs> Beetlejuice, you got a girlfriend? Me? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I uh, don't know. You're cheating too? You're cheating. I'm jumping out a window. Kill myself. All times are wrong. Well, I can see your girlfriend's really... She's actually crying over there, so something going on. Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I think she's crying from kissing him. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is it? You want to shave her head? <laughs> yeah. Well, What's that all about? Shut, shut I'm up. not doing it. You're not going to do it. He wants I'm to shave her head, but she's not willing to do it because she said on the way up that if Frankie leaves her or if she leave, decides to leave him, she doesn't want to look like, you know, she doesn't want to... Frankie's well, not faithful. Right. You don't want to be bald. You shave her head if you're going to get a man wife. bald. Right. Believe me, you could get a man bald. You should get naked. When? Right now. You want to get naked? Yeah. And you want to paint her breast. Oh. What? Paint her breast. <laughs> nah, I don't know. You know, I might have seen enough naked women today. I, saving, seeing Beetlejuice is, is, is definitely the highlight of my life. <laughs> I don't need to see no naked women now. Look at you. Yeah, Beetlejuice, I like you. Baby Bobby Bowie. Yeah. So, Beetlejuice, uh, where can we see you and where can we see Frank getting tossed? Only at bachelor parties? Yeah. That's where you primarily work? And yeah. birthday parties. Yeah, you, birthday you, parties. You've never been in, like, Wizard of Oz or anything? Uh, that was five, five years ago. Five years ago you did it, yeah. How old are you? Me? I'm 48. Wow. Really? What? I would have thought you were a kid. Is he really 48? No. Yeah. No. You're 48, Beetlejuice? Yeah. Really? I would have thought you were about... 13. I swear to God. Stevie Wonder. You have a young face. I think you're going to live a long time. I'm not going to live Aren't long. you lucky? You already did. <laughs> you're 48. Did you think he was 48? 48? You're not really 48. I believe 24. Yeah, really? really? Yeah. Wow. All right, well, listen. like Baba Booey. Yeah, a little bit. You look like Gary a little bit. Yeah. yeah. The teeth. Uh, around the eyes. <laughs> anyway, Beetlejuice, a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Do you get laid, really? Do you get girls? Yeah. He does? He does. Yeah. I, I, I brought the, I forgot the tape. I left it at the house. I had a tape for you of them, too. All right. And, and what, of, of, of Frank and the girl? Before he was with her. Frank and Patty? No, him. Oh, him. Beetlejuice and Patty? No. no. Oh. No. <laughs> I, I'm, Who's the tape of? I don't know, but it's a bunch of midgets. And, all right, listen, guys, do you want to plug? Is that what you want? But, but let me plug your yeah, business uh, for you. Go ahead. For uh, my, uh, my lawyer. Uh, your lawyer? Your lawyer. Why do you need a lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> me, me and him were driving. And you and Beetlejuice. Yeah, I was driving. They were, were driving. back. Yeah. And um, we got caught. Peer out the window. Empty beer, beer cans. Empty beer cans. Up. Oh, I see. And the cops, they just pulled us over. And told his kid, get out and put your hands on the bumper. <laughs> <laughs> and also, if they're looking uh, for dwarf tossing with Beetlejuice and Frank, they can look us up on jollydwarf.com. Jollydwarf.com. Jolly Dwarf. They got pictures of Beetlejuice up there? Yeah. I see Jesse go there right now. <laughs> and, uh, take a look at that. Yeah. Uh, they, um, shop right in Board of Shop right. Shop right in Board of New Jersey. What about it? What work. about them? Forget right. about it. Mr. Blues in Deal. Yeah. What's Mr. Blue? So you can come see me bartend. If any man is single out there and looking for a beautiful girl, please stop in and see me. Oh. Really? Because you're breaking up with Frank the Dwarf. Yep. Oh. Wow. Is Frank, this the first time you've ever been with back. a dwarf? Yes. Why a dwarf, though? Like, like, most women won't date dwarfs. I, I agree, and I was hesitant at first also, but I was, got really drunk one night at a bachelor party when I met him. Right. And he ended up, well, he didn't end up taking me home. His brother, Sean, drove. What a romantic story. Uh, I didn't know you met at a bachelor a, party. Yeah, we ended up having a really good time. Right. It was a lot of fun. He was good in bed? Yeah, he's very good at oral sex. Really? Very good. <laughs> Incredible. Yes. I got the, the eye best. level. Wow. You got you the got eye level. level. He's got the eye level. <laughs> what is it? Benji, you can't even get a girl. Yeah, this guy's a I, dwarf. I work for the Howard Stern Show. I, I go up to girls and sometimes I tell them that and they say, that's nice. And they walk away. I would be so stable. I would never cheat on you in my life. I would give you money. You want to try it, a so. fat guy now? Are you interested in that? Fat guys are so nice and so faithful. <laughs> you, so would you go out with Benji? I would consider going on a date with them. Really? See? I mean, I, you better take her up on oh, that. Oh, please. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Wow. 
You're not allowing it? I don't think so. Right. Well, what are you going to do about it? You, <laughs> you want him? Yeah. You want her back? Yeah. Like, I, fat guys are so nice to girls. I would, I would call you up. I'd, like, write you little poems and stuff. Uh, see? You would romance He'd her. He'd romance yes. you. Yeah. Yeah. Let Frank wrestle Benji. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Frank, you're not, Frank, you're not happy about that. No, I'm not. Well, you should have been better to her while you had Thank her. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> this no. is what you got to think about. Look at Benji. You can't believe it. No, I'm, I'm, this is great. Like, I will be so good to you and everything. <laughs> Well, one man's misery is another man's. What's that? I'm actually looking forward to cool. it. Cool, cool. Hey, you're not touching my woman. Uh-oh. You hear me? I'll fight you for I'm her, man. I'm not your woman anymore, Frank. <laughs> it's over. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and what would you do if I told you I slept with you're the bouncer outside? With me. You're coming home with me. Nope. You slept with the bouncer outside? Yeah, yeah right. once. Oh, what? Okay. After I found out that he has been continuously on unfaithful. Hmm. Oh, I wouldn't just, even mind that. You could do that. Like, <laughs> you could going? sleep with other guys. I would really like to find a man to be faithful. No, I, be, I, I would. Trust me, he'll be faithful. Yeah. He has no choice. Yes. <laughs> he, he can't get anybody. Faithful forever. All right, listen. Everybody, congratulations. <laughs> On whatever I don't even know. Benjamin, just, congratulations. Beetlejuice, congratulations! I live in forty-eight years. That's great. Why they nicknamed Beetlejuice? Oh, about twelve years. Twelve years. Well, any reason why they call you Beetlejuice? Uh, remember that movie Beetlejuice? Yeah. Well, he looks like Beetlejuice. Never seen it. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Howard. Well, I like Beetlejuice. Oh, because, because of the, the little movies. head? Is that what yeah, you're a little head. head. What is it, Beetlejuice? Maybe you can look it up in the movies. Right, all right, I will look it up. All right, Beetlejuice, so Howard, thank you. Yeah. I've never seen Jackie so amused. He looks like he wants to take Beetlejuice home. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to figure the whole thing out. Just what? Just, There's nothing to figure out. <laughs> everything to figure out. <laughs> all right, listen, never mind. While I'm Jackie's figuring, I have to move on. Somebody drop down the zone. Okay, so Beetlejuice is the guy we had on our TV show Saturday night. Oh, I better get ready for this. Yeah, he's a real find. I guess he's a dwarf, but his head is so small, it's like the size of an M&M. There it is. There he is. Ooh. Yeah. So we, we were with Beetlejuice the other day. Doug was uh, doing some stuff for the TV show, and he tried to get Beetlejuice to do an intro, but he said he had problems because I guess Beetle, Beetlejuice was a little lit. Anyway, we got Beetlejuice on the phone. Beetlejuice, what was the problem? You were a little high when you were doing this? Beetlejuice? Yeah. Yeah, you were, you were drunk when you were doing this? Yeah. All right. Are you okay now? I'm all right. All right, wait, wait. So here's Beetlejuice trying to do the... Cool. You know, he's just trying to get through these things. And then he gets so drunk, I guess he's so drunk, he starts vomiting. But first he is, here he is how trying... How much did he drink? <laughs> Beetlejuice, how much did you drink? Huh? How, how, I say, how much did you drink, Beetlejuice? Oh, about ten. Ten what? Yeah. What? Yeah. Beers? Beers. What? I never saw his eyes before. What's... Whoa. Because you wore glasses last time. It's Beetlejuice. He sure is. Hey, Beetlejuice, <laughs> I saw some tape of you banging some chick. Yeah. You do porn movies? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact. All right, so here's Beetlejuice trying to do some intros. Here we go. This is what you're going to do. You're going to say, what's up? I'm Beetlejuice, and I'm out here today. I'm about to go into a seminar, and I'm going to learn how to get some real nice girls. I can do that. I learned how to Yeah, we were taking Beetlejuice out to, uh, he, some guy was offering a seminar on how to pick up women. And he, he said, could t- teach any guy how to pick up women? Yeah, so we sent over Beetlejuice, and the guy admitted he, he admitted defeat. <laughs> right, Beetlejuice? He crumbled. Got it. Yeah. All right, hold on. Pick up some hot women. I got to pick up, I got to pick up a hot woman right now. Say, say what's up. It's Beetlejuice. Well, my, name, my name is Beetlejuice right now. I'll get ready to pick up a hot woman. She's four <laughs> eight. She's four nine. And she I'm the about? heaviest guy. He's loaded. Time out. Time out. <laughs> what you doing? You're just gonna do a whole setup. This is like the introduction. I'm a bad motherfucker though. <laughs> I'm a good man. I can get you later in six months. What the hell are you talking about, buddy? I'm just kidding. I, I understood that. All right. So I'm just kidding with you. I just, Nina, so I could, let's try to do it all the way through, all by yourself, all right? What's it's up? Just, it's Beetlejuice. It's just a joke. I just made Nina, it. I'm just kidding. That was funny. It's like a strip. I just made I'm it. Doug's like P.T. Barnum. You know what? I just thought to myself, well, here's another guy for Doug to manage. Yeah. Did Doug try to approach you about managing you? All right, so here's Beetlejuice trying to figure everything out. Hey, ready, Beat? All right, Beat. I want you to do this on your own without me in it. Okay. What's up? It's Beetlejuice. I'm getting ready to go into a seminar where I'm going to learn how to... The woman's. <laughs> I get to with them. 
and they come to me, and when they want me, they just come to me. They only have to do is call me. Right, I got like another minute left. <laughs> gonna say, I just want you to do. It's like it's like you're setting up, you're setting the stage by yourself. So you're gonna go on the mic by yourself. And you're gonna say, you're gonna introduce what we're doing today. What's up, it's Beetlejuice. Right. All right. Oh, do you understand what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying. All right, what's up? It's Beetlejuice. I'm getting right. ready to go into a right. seminar where I'm going to learn right. how to pick up right. hot women and get laid. Right. All right. He's right. not even listening. Okay. All right. I'm going to get hot with the women. <laughs> and my name is Beetlejuice. <laughs> and when they want to come in, they have to do is call me. Give me your best line to pick up a woman. And the while I live, uh, it's from women, they come up to me, they say, oh, oh, sweetheart, I like you. I want to fuck you. <laughs> they want to say, yeah, baby. Yeah, I say, yeah, I'll, I'll come to the house. Yeah, I'll fuck you. Oh, my All God. Right. So, that was, so Beetlejuice was Beetlejuice, you were having a hard time, right? Couple of times. Yeah. So, then, so Beetlejuice, you, got, you were so drunk that you threw up, right? A little bit. All right, so here's Beetlejuice. He doesn't look like he's in that bad shape. Yeah, I don't know, but he did. He started vomiting. But he makes it, Beetlejuice, you make a weird sound when you vomit, right? Yeah. yeah oh, right. you vomit a lot? Uh, it's just a fake. When he pukes, his little head is like a nozzle. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Here's, so here's Beetlejuice. I never heard a sound like this. Ready, Bill? Oh, yeah. Keep, keep going, Bill. Get all punched. Now, the other guy is in the background yelling, keep going, because what they're doing is rolling out toilet paper to clean up Beetlejuice. <sighs> so, like, keep going. They're not telling him to keep going and vomiting, you know. Keep going. I'll tell you when to stop. <laughs> Two feet tall. <laughs> not too good. <laughs> I feel good. No, he says not, not too good. Not too good. Beetlejuice, that's a weird noise you make. Right? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! Wait, he doesn't even have to bend. I don't know if there's that. Wait, let me. <laughs> oh, oh, man, that sounds violent. I just like the noise. <laughs> Who's laughing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. But there's a little warble in it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little bit. What happened? Just threw up. Well, Beetlejuice. Why did you throw up? Wow, Beetlejuice, that was some performance. Wow. You stopped drinking, haven't you? Huh? Have you stopped drinking? Nah. No. No, are you kidding? Wow. But do you know your limit now? Oh! No! Yeah. <laughs> Beetlejuice. Jeez. <laughs> Hey, thanks, Beetlejuice. Hey, you got anything to plug? You appearing anywhere? Did he ever get yeah. through that uh, oh, promo? Right. No. <laughs> Beetlejuice, you got anything you want to plug? Huh? All right. Yeah. What? what? Jolly Door. Jolly Door? Dot com. What? Uh, Something.com. Uh, what Jolly was that? Dot com. What? Jolly Door com. All right. Hey, no, thanks, no, no. Beetlejuice. Later, buddy. Always like a salad. We can get a chat. All right, man. <laughs> Bye. Uh, I'll put you on the I'll put you on the get. All right, thank you, Beetlejuice. You got it. See you down here soon. All right. It's Beetlejuice. Wow. Did you understand one? More? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to get out of that phone right, call. Right. No. Huh? <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> what a performance. Somebody dropped down the zone. 
So we, we were with Beetlejuice the other day. Doug was uh, doing some stuff for the TV show, and <laughs> he tried to get Beetlejuice to do an intro, but he said he had problems because I guess Beetle, Beetlejuice was a little lit. <laughs> anyway, we got Beetlejuice on the phone. Beetlejuice, what was the problem? You were a little high when you were doing this? Beetlejuice? Yeah. Yeah, you were, you were drunk when you were doing this? Yeah. All right. Are you okay now? I'm all right. All right, wait, wait. So here's Beetlejuice trying to do the, you know, he's just trying to get through these things. And then he gets so drunk. I guess he's so drunk he starts vomiting. But first he is, here he is how trying. How much did he drink? <laughs> Beetlejuice, how much did you drink? Huh? How, how, I say, how much did you drink, Beetlejuice? Oh, about ten. Ten what? Yeah. What? Yeah. Beers? <laughs> Beers. What? I never saw his eyes before. What's, whoa. Because he wore glasses last time. It's Beetlejuice. He sure is. Hey, Beetlejuice, I saw some tape of you banging some chick. Yeah. You do porn movies? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact. All right, so here's Beetlejuice trying to do some intros. Here we go. This is what you're going to do. You're going to say, what's up? I'm Beetlejuice, and I'm out here today. I'm about to go into a seminar, and I'm going to learn how to get some real nice girls. Okay? I can do that. I'll learn how to... Yeah, we were taking Beetlejuice out to... Uh, he, some guy was offering a seminar on how to pick up women. And he, he said, could teach any guy how to pick up women? Yeah, so we sent over Beetlejuice, and the guy admitted he, he admitted defeat. <laughs> right, Beetlejuice? He crumbled. Got it. Yeah. All right, hold on. Pick up some hot women. I got to pick, I gotta pick up a hot woman right now. Say, say what's up. It's my, my, name, my name is Beetlejuice right now. I'll give her to pick up a hot woman. She's four's eight. <laughs> She's four nine, and I'm the about? heaviest guy. He's loaded. Time out. Time out. <laughs> what you doing? You're just gonna do a whole setup. This is like the introduction. <laughs> I'm a bad mother. <laughs> I'm a good man. I can get you laid in six months. What the hell are you talking about, buddy? I'm just kidding. I, I understood that. All right. So I'm just kidding with you. I'm just I know. I'm I could, let's try to do it all the way through, all by yourself, all right? What's it's up? Just, it's Beetlejuice. It's just a joke. I just made it. I know. I'm just kidding. That was funny. It's like a strip. I just made Time it. Time out. Doug's like P.T. Barnum. You know what? I just thought to myself, well, here's another guy for Doug to manage. Yeah. Did Doug try to approach you about managing you? All right. So here's Beetlejuice trying to figure everything out. Hey, ready, Pete? All right. Okay. What's up? It's Beetlejuice. I'm getting ready to go into a seminar where I'm going to learn how to pick up hot women okay. and get laid. Can you say that uh, all the way through? Yeah. I can say that all the way through. I get hot with the women. I get <laughs> through with them. And they come to me. And when they want me, they just come to me. They only have to do is call me. All right, I got like another minute left. Do you understand what I just want you to do? It's like it's like you're setting up, you're setting the stage by yourself. So you're gonna go on the mic by yourself. You're gonna say, you're gonna introduce what we're doing today. What's up? It's Beetlejuice. Right. All right. Oh, do you understand what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying. All right. What's up? It's Beetlejuice. I'm getting right. ready to go into a. Right. All right. He's not even listening. Okay. All right. I'm going to get out with the women. <laughs> and my name is Bridget Juice. <laughs> and when they want to come in, they have to do is call me. Give me your best line to pick up a woman. And the way I live, uh, it's from women, they come up to me, they say, oh, oh, sweetheart, I like you. I want to f*** you. <laughs> and they want to say, yeah, baby, yeah. I say, yeah, I, I come to the house, yeah, I f*** you. Oh my All God! Right. So that was Be so Beetlejuice was having Beetlejuice. You having a hard time, right? Totally tired. Yeah. So then, Be so Beetlejuice, you got so you were so drunk that you threw up, right? A little bit. All yeah. right. So here's Beetlejuice. He doesn't look like he's in that bad shape. Yeah, I don't know, but he did. He started vomiting, but he makes it, Beetlejuice. You make a weird sound when you vomit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. you vomit a lot? Ah, uh, just a fake. When he pukes, his little head is like a nozzle. Oh. <laughs> now, wait a second. Here's, so here's Beetlejuice. I never heard a sound like this. Ready, Beetle? Keep going, Beetle. Get a whole bunch. Now, the other guy is in the background yelling, keep going, because what they're doing is rolling out toilet paper to clean up Beetlejuice. Oh. They're like, keep going. They're not telling him to keep going vomiting, you know. Keep going. I'll tell you when to stop. <laughs> Hasn't he had 
this is my jam. <laughs> He's only two feet tall. <laughs> I feel it. I feel good. <laughs> no, he says not, not too, good. too good. Beetlejuice, that's a weird noise you make. Right? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Wait. He doesn't even have to bend. I don't know if there's that. Wait, let me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That sounds violent. I just like the noise. <laughs> Who's laughing? <laughs> oh. Oh. oh man! Oh. But there's a little warble in it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Beetlejuice, that was some performance. You stopped drinking, haven't you? Huh? Have you stopped drinking? Nah. No, oh, are you kidding? Wow. But do you know your <laughs> limit now? Oh! No! Yeah. Beetlejuice. Jeez. <laughs> hey, thanks, Beetlejuice. Hey, you got anything to plug? You appearing anywhere? Did he ever get yeah. through that uh, oh, promo? Right. No. <laughs> Beetlejuice, you got anything you want to plug? Huh? All right. Yeah. What? what? Jolly Door. Jolly Door? Com. What? Right. Something.com. Right. What Jolly was that? Door com. What? Jolly Door com. All right. Hey, uh, thanks, Beetlejuice. Later, buddy. Always like a salad. When you get a chat. All right, man. <laughs> Bye. Uh, I'll, put you on, I'll put you on again. All right. Thank you, Beetlejuice. You got it. See you down here soon. All right. It's Beetlejuice. Did you understand one more? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to get out of that phone right, call. Right, right. Nope. <laughs> Somebody dropped the old song. So, uh, okay, we got a bunch of stuff to get to. I want to say hello to all my witch friends out there. Uh, let's bring in the Beetlejuice. Uh, well, wait a second. Don't bring in Beetlejuice yet. Uh, let me set this up right. Okay, so, you know, a couple of, uh, like, like three months ago, Baba Buhai came to me during the show, as he does in the commercials, and he says, uh, says to me, uh, boy, there's good news and bad news. Uh-oh, another one? Yeah, good news and bad news. I said, what's the good news and the bad news? That's what it is. Said, well, the good news is you received a major reward. I said, oh, really? He says, but the bad news is it's from adult video news. That's the porno awards. <laughs> you know, I said, well, the bad news is always your teeth. Thank you, Wolf. Wolf. Thank you for the compliment, Wolf. <laughs> so anyway, um, yes, it's true. I received the Freedom of Speech Award or something from the Adult Video News, which is a porno convention where, like, chicks who just won for best anal scene, you know, win awards. In fact, let me set it up for you. This is from this year's Adult Video News okay, Award. this is one of the awards? Yeah, this is Tristan. We actually had her on the show, Tristan Termino. Remember the girl who wrote the book about anal sex or something, and she was, oh, like, an yeah, anal sex yeah, expert? yeah. yeah. So she did her first anal porno film. Oh, so she's now in porn. Yeah, and she won. She actually won the best anal. <laughs> I guess she knows her uh, area. Yeah. Yeah, she really does. I just was watching it. It looked very painful. So she won best anal scene. So uh, take a listen to this. This is Tristan accepting the best anal. Okay? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um... Oh my God! Let's talk about the video. Talk about the video. Okay. Let's how excited she is. I know people don't yeah. get this excited about an Academy Award. I know. I want to thank. There's so many people to thank. Um, wow, she was just one for best anal scene. Yeah. You should, you should and be. She is ecstatic. You should be in hiding. <laughs> what? What's going on? Bag over her head. What's going on in the world? She's happier than Harrison Ford. <laughs> Oh, There's so many people to thank. Everyone at Evil Angel, Ernest Green, who obviously I couldn't done, have done it without him. Everyone in my movie was so amazing, but I want to especially thank two of my role models, Nina Hartley and Chloe. Wow, role models. She's got role models. Yeah. Who inspire me every day. Wow. <laughs> Could you imagine? Inspire me to do anal sex. 
Um, I want to thank John. It's, let me tell you something. The Adult Video News Awards is like being in the bizarro world. If they take it really seriously, you can't go there and goof. That's why when we send Beetlejuice to pick up my award, you got to get yeah. angry. Yeah. Well. That's like a cult. Mm, right. Because... <laughs> But man, you gave me a chance. But man, no one else would. You gave me a chance when no one else would. No one else would. But man, but man decided I'm going to take a chance on you. I'm but man. <laughs> I like your stuff. That was I had never made a movie before. I'm I, pretty sure the world is crumbling around us. <laughs> is it still there? Look out the window. Never directed, produced, written, or had sex on film. I'd never even picked up a camera. And you said, we can do this. And yeah, it's real hard to get a naked... Bro you have to see the, the, the video. Oh, my goodness. You got like five people piled on top of her. She's spread eagle. Camera work's not that great. Yeah, the camera... I mean, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Honey, she did all that and held the camera. She's good. <laughs> you didn't cure polio. You made an anal sex movie. The next thing I knew, I was the subject of a 10-person anal gangbang. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you, John. And I want to thank my mom and my oh. dad. Oh, and <laughs> who just hung himself. <laughs> Are they there? And I want to thank my girlfriend, Red, who is the love of my life and taught me everything I know about anal sex. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, look at the, this is the video. It's, it looks very important. It's a double video set. Oh, look at that very well. The wow. uh, anal gangbang. It's like Lawrence of Arabia. Merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So, the, uh, just to give you a taste of what goes on over there, then um, the best actress, Chloe, one name, Chloe, she gets up to make her speech. Okay. So, a lot of you people know about... Oh, wait, oh, that's, wait, wrong tape. Go ahead. Here we go. Here's Chloe. My God, I am so honored to get this award. When I first heard about, when I first saw the script for this movie, I was actually reading for one of the smaller parts. And I went up to Chris Kramsky's um, office Ooh. and I asked him to please give, him the whole chronology. give me the opportunity to show everybody here what a wonderful actress I was. <laughs> <laughs> because we all know I don't fake my sex scenes, so I needed to act. So um, he gave me a shot. And I told him, you give me this part in this movie, Chris, I'll win you a f***ing award. Excuse my language. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Beautiful voice. Sorry, Mom, about the uh, language. The language, yeah. Good time. I'd like to thank... I'd like to thank... My mom for being here again this year. Chris Kramsky for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Chris Kramsky! It's wonderful. Sin City, thank you very much. World Modeling for giving me my start. My lovely significant other, Chris Barato. His lovely brother, Matt, and good friend, Tommy. And everyone in this movie, especially... James Bond where he disappeared to because again it's so easy to act when you have somebody that knows their dialogue and does it well and to this industry for which I'm so proud to be a part of thank you wow <laughs> so you see so everybody like the whole thing is getting up there and being proud right. yeah they're happy and proud right. so okay and Beetle, now, now bring in Beetlejuice here, here he comes. And by the way, if you want more information on Beetlejuice, because people are writing us all the time, they want to get in touch with Beetlejuice. Can you get a hold of Beetlejuice. The, the real place to get a hold of Beetlejuice. Here he comes. He's wearing his slippers and robes. He changed his hair color. Yes, he did. He's the Dennis Rodman of dwarves. Dennis Rodman. He, I think he's the the. He's F. Hugh Hefner. Yeah, he's dressed in robe and bunny slippers. <laughs> he looks great. He's got a big cigar. You look great, Beetlejuice. Thank you. Get get, cl get close to that. <laughs> I'm just soaking in Beetlejuice. I know, it takes a while. Beetlejuice, whose idea was it for you to... He has such a small head that the headphones don't fit on him. It's okay. It's all right. What's the and the funniest head? thing is the little tuft of hair <laughs> on the top. Beetlejuice, what do you do? You dyed your hair like Dennis Rodman? Is he a hero of yours? Yeah. Yeah, you like Dennis Rodman. Yeah. You know, I, I was reading. Just like him. Yeah, you look like him. You do. Yeah, you're a shorter version. <laughs> it looks like shaving cream on top of. <laughs> no, I shave every day, you know. Yeah. Oh. So Beetlejuice. Don't uh, distract. You'll be yeah. you'll be surprised to know that Dennis Rodman badly wants to get back into basketball. 
He has removed all the hair color from his hair. Is that right? He has stopped wearing all the wild uh, jewelry. He got rid of the piercing? Got rid of the yeah, And he is now, I read this in the paper today, He's he would love to be with the L.A. Lakers again because of the coach, the guy who coached him in Chicago. Right. For, uh, Phil, Phil Jackson. Jackson. But since they don't want him, they're a winning team. Uh, I think he's trying to go to Dallas anywhere. Yeah, I heard Dallas was yeah. sort of interested. And he says now he's serious, he's not going to be distracted, and he's going to be a serious player. Oh, sure. Well, that's what he says. Well, yeah, and he can keep his focus for how long? I don't know, but Beetlejuice is focused on me, that's for sure. <laughs> Beetlejuice is staring at me like a woman in love. Are you in love with me, Have Beetlejuice? No. Our Beetlejuice was good enough to take a plane all the way down to uh, Vegas. Right. Did you like Las Vegas? Had you ever been there before? Yeah, I've been there twice. Is that right? I didn't know that. I, I didn't know. know you traveled. You were down there on other business? Yeah. What kind of business? Oh, uh, travel business. Traveling business, yeah. All right. So anyway, so Beetlejuice, we sent Beetlejuice to accept. Yes, I will accept your award. Yeah, my yeah. award, yes. Yeah. All right. Beetlejuice got out there when they announced my name. Because I thought it was ridiculous that I was receiving the Adult Video News Award. You were embarrassed. That's right. By the way, here it is. Oh, right there's there. the tape. Look wow. at Beetlejuice. Yeah, there's Beetlejuice coming out. Let me play it now, if you can turn that off, and let me play the sound. He looks like the good humor man. Yeah. <laughs> the so, a lot of you people know about us giving the Howard giving Howard Stern the Special Achievement Award and how he would not come this evening. And um, we wanted to give it to Howard Stern for a couple of reasons. One, because it's great publicity. Two, he's really been done a lot for this industry, and a lot of the girls in the industry have gotten tremendous publicity. He has really treated this industry like a regular industry and given every given this business a lot of press. I think Beetlejuice is snoring. Beetlejuice, are you awake? What are you, snoring? <laughs> no, uh, don't oh. don't during sleep during this. Sleep during this. It's your moment. It's your moment to come out. Here we go. And a lot of positive press. And with his own FCC battles, I thought it was appropriate to give him the award. Hmm. It's not a very nice speech. He seems to be angry. <laughs> Yeah, you. yeah like, we're giving him this award. Here's why. So you know, you know, we decided to give him the award because it'd be good publicity, yeah, right. and he wouldn't even pick it up. I remember when Al Goldstein got this award last year. They were like, "Hey, here he comes. He's a freedom oh, fighter." This is so great. I yeah. think because I didn't show up, they're bad mouthing yeah. me. Yeah. So Howard does deserve this award, but he wouldn't come this evening, despite my urgings and 4 a.m. Excuse me, I couldn't fly out to Las Vegas. I got a job. Phone calls. He sent. Somebody, like I'm going to get up and accept an award with a straight face in front of, like, best anal actress. Yeah, the girl who right. just uh, had never done a movie yeah. and never held a camera and just won an award. Well, Beetlejuice was more than willing to go out there. Name Beetlejuice to pick up this award. Beetlejuice. So, to accept Howard Stern's Special Achievement Award is Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Here he comes now. Now, Beetlejuice walks out. He walks out. Dressed beautifully. A lot of beautiful women carrying Beetlejuice out. They have to go... Yeah, and they have to find a, a thing for him to stand up because Beetlejuice is quite short. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is for Howard Stern. What? This is for Howard... This... So now they're trying to find you a thing to stand on, right? Yeah. People just, yeah. yes. Mm. <laughs> do, you, do you understand what you're saying when you talk? Yeah. yeah you understand? All right, because you might have to translate some of this uh. stuff. Well, big juice juice here. Had a big penis here. So you like it before Sir Howard. He's a great man. All right, so now you're talking about the size of your penis. And, uh... He's saying I'm a great man. But you come after yeah, his yeah, penis. Right. <laughs> We're all staring at. What are you all staring at? <laughs> You're up there making a speech and staring at you. I don't bet he got in and I was staring there. What was How do you that? like it? I don't know. You gotta just soak it in. It's Beetlejuice. I, I really didn't think that. Big head and big star. I have a dream. I love it. Uh, I love to throw up, babies. You love to what? Throw up? 
You love to throw up? Is that what you said? Sure. I'm just a fake guy that said that. You just said, all right, here we go. Oh, the Alicia Class, please, we need you. Are you finished, Beatles? No, they, they're cutting them off. He's just getting warmed up. That was rude of them to cut you off like that, right? Oh, Were you yeah, insulted? They cut me off. Yeah. Why? I don't know. You were making Where a good they, speech. Where did they take you after this? Out to the alley to beat you up? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> the sex is How do you love it? Sex is you're yelling sex is better? Sex is better than what? I love how it's... Women. The oh. women. Oh. He's a great man. I love it, whores and bitches around here. I love that. A lot of whores and bitches around there. Did you get there. any action while you were out there? Did you get laid out there? Me? Well, twice. Twice. Really? I saw a tape of him. All the uh, porno stars were all over Beetlejuice like he was like James Bond. Really? Like he was a rock star. The girls were going wild for you. Yeah, there was. They were d taking their breasts and hitting you in the head with them? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw that. Did you like that? Hey, that was good, though. It was all good. And I saw some of the girls grabbing your crotch and French kissing you? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Beautiful women. French kissing Beetlejuice. Wow. Were you shocked? Me? Nah. That I, happens all the I time. I wasn't shocked. Really? Are you like a superstar or something? Yeah. Yeah. He I'm is? Both. Yeah. I saw a documentary on him. He's a big hero in his neighborhood. Oh, my goodness. In fact, I saw the documentary on our TV show. <laughs> I swear to God, you were having so much fun out there, your hair turned white. That's what happened. He didn't die. Eh? All right. I'm my old man. I'm Tom Gray. What else? So he's still going. Straight in life, huh? <laughs> right. I'm hot and I'm better. And I'm in charge, so come on. No. Huh? The show is two hours. I promised a lot of friends. Two hours. We gotta go. Alright, I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Alright, you graciously left. They, they obviously didn't appreciate your sense of humor. And uh, you showed them, you left. Let them go there with their stinking awards. Who cares? Where's the award, by the way? Yeah, do you, by the do you, way, Casey got it for you. He yeah. did? Well, he's going to bring it out after I go out. Oh, I see. All right. Okay. Well, after so anyway. Go, after I go out, I'm going to bring it to you. What a lot of people don't realize is we had an earpiece on Beetlejuice, and we would tell you what to say, right? Yeah. So now for the first time on radio, we're going to play for you Beetlejuice being instructed by our people. Okay. Who was instructing him, Ganji? You? Uh, myself and Doug. So both of you guys were talking? Yeah. And, uh, and you both were in his earpiece? Wow. Beetlejuice, was it confusing having these guys in your ear while you were trying to talk? Yeah. It was. It was well, hard. Well, you got to realize, we rehearsed them in advance for like an hour. Right. And we went over every point. You know, we're like, hey, when we say this, you repeat after us. Right. And we kept going over it for an hour, and he was great. He was yeah. great in rehearsal. You right. know, and he was good on good on stage, but yeah. in rehearsal, he was like a maniac. Really? Really? Yeah, he yeah. was like so psyched to get up there. Right. <laughs> he shocked us. He uh, he actually got it, which was totally. Yeah. Beetlejuice, he did a good job. <laughs> Thank you. Now, let's hear let's hear what that sounded like. Let's let's give it a look. The coaching. No, yeah, let's hear the coaching. Oh, 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 dead center. Dead center. Dead center. What? So you guys are telling him to walk forward. Right. He, he, Stop he wasn't even... Right. What happened, that initially, there's a camera on the side of the stage, and he just saw the camera, so he starts facing the camera. He's facing <laughs> sideways. Oh, right, he right. didn't get to the podium. <laughs> it was good you had the guys telling you what to do. Okay, Beatles, step up to the microphone. Beatles. Well, he knows him well. <laughs> People call you Beatle for short? Yeah. Beatle, yeah. Or, or Beat. Your nickname. We call him Beat. 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 Okay. My name is Beetlejuice and I have a big penis. That's right. What are you staring at? What are you all staring at? What are you all staring at? We're all staring at I have a so fun to program Beetlejuice. Uh, puppet. Yeah. It's fun, right? This is why they created There's all this technology. It's like a puppet. You get to say anything. It's all right, great. it's good. Beetlejuice, but Beetlejuice just got the delivery. That's something yeah, you guys right. don't no, have. Right, exactly. He's like Johnny Carson. He's got writing. Yeah, you but, guys can say this great. stuff, but you don't have the look yeah, or the... Right. right, you don't have the looks, and Beetlejuice knows how to sell the material. <laughs> the magic. It's much funnier coming out of The now. look or the time. You guys are just some hack writers, but Beetlejuice is the star. <laughs> You're nothing without him. <laughs> Beetlejuice. You should, seen, you should have seen the reaction to, that he got. Yeah, notice oh Beetlejuice got all the girls afterwards, not oh you two. Yeah, did you guys get any women? No. no did they get any women, Beetlejuice? They couldn't handle them. 
All right, let's let's hear more coaching. I like it. I have a big head. I have a big head. Big head, big star. I have a dream. I have a dream. I love it. I'm going to throw up. I love all you. I love, I love all you whores and sluts. Alicia class, please, we need you. Don't stop. Don't stop. He's yelling out, don't stop. Keep going. Don't stop. There's panic back in the control room. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't you stay up there. If they shoot you, stay up there. I love how it's third. I love how it's third. I, He's a great man. I love all you whores and sluts. I love you whores and bitches around here. I love that. She would change the words. Right? Like, she ad lived a little bit. Yeah, you would change to like whores and sluts to whores and bitches, right? Right. You felt it was funnier? <laughs> and you're throwing a little oh, profanity. It was very funny. It was very funny. It was very funny, yes. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Paul Fishbine is a hot Jew. I'm hot, I'm bad. What did you say? Paul Fishbine is a hot Jew, but Beetlejuice didn't get Paul Fishbein is a hot Jew. <laughs> he said, "I'm hot and I'm better." Oh, all right. Well, sometimes he ad lives. He knows. He knows the crowd. He knows what the right thing. Yeah. Is. He knows the right <laughs> thing. Ah. This guy's worked in front of audiences for a long time. That's right. Well, uh, Beetlejuice, you are digits though. I can't think of a greater man to accept my award. Really, I mean. That. I think he should accept all your awards. If no one, you're the official award acceptor. <laughs> Ed, you're on with Beetlejuice. Hey, Howard. Yes. Nice going with that Angie Everhart thing. Oh, thank you. Love that. Yeah, hey, so did uh, I. Beetlejuice on the uh, 17th of December was supposed to come play uh, play my uh, Christmas party, and I got some bullshit call. Hey, hey, wait. Hey, 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 easy hey, on the hey. Oh, sorry about that. I got some call about two hours before showtime that he was canceling. Uh, his manager gave me, Sean, gave me some uh, song and dance about him having a broken ankle or something like that. just want to see what the deal. I was in charge of the uh, entertainment for my party. I ended up looking like a big rube. Beetlejuice, anything? Do you know anything about that? Well, I don't know nothing about that. I had different things to do, you know. <laughs> did you break an ankle? You didn't break an ankle. I broke an ankle, yeah. You did break ah, an ankle. That's a load of horse crap. Where's your ankle? Yeah. Where's your ankle? Huh? Where's your <laughs> ankle? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, you do know where it is. Is that why you're wearing the slippers? Did he know where yeah. it is? Yeah, he knows where it is. He knows where it is. Yeah, he knows his ankle. Uh, we found out so I'm wondering if I can get some sort of uh, compensation for be for getting put out on the line like that. Probably not. I had to make the I had to make do with some uh, retarded bagpipe playing a couple nasty uh, who is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, what can you do? Beetlejuice is a star, and sometimes things happen to stars. There's only one Beetlejuice, and sometimes he hurts himself. Uh, it's a dangerous business he's in. We found out yeah, so much it is stuff gonna be dangerous. Him. What What did you find out about well, Beetlejuice? First of all, we found out his real age. I don't know if you know that. Hey, Beetlejuice, how old are you? Me, thirty one. Right. Wow. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. yeah. How old, and he has a daughter. How old's your daughter? Oh, you don't want to know that. Well, tell us how old your daughter is. No. She's seventy five. <laughs> seventy five. Really? She was thirty four the other day. Oh. You got a daughter? Yeah, she lives in New York. <laughs> oh yeah, and she's seventy five. Yeah. Wow. Really? What'd you get her for Christmas? Huh? Nothing. I sent her to school. You did. Ah. Mm, to learn the golden rule. <laughs> and also, Beetlejuice you know, spent some time in jail, too. Oh, you did, Beetlejuice? <gasps> oh, I should tell this, even before Beetlejuice gets to that story. What? Beetlejuice almost uh, had a, a, a horrible thing happen to him. What? He, uh, they almost had to do an emergency landing of the plane because of Beetlejuice. In fact, uh, what happened was, tell the story, Beetlejuice. You were on the plane. Well, well I was on the plane. I smoked a cigarette. That was going to put me in jail for five years. I said, go ahead. I got $10,000. What you going to do anyway? You smoked a cigarette on the plane? He, he, yeah. So, so the stewardess comes. He, he lit up a cigarette on the plane. You know, Is you're he not, sitting in a seat? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was in the plane. They were flying. Well, I so guess, I guess the story is that you know his manager Sean was sitting next to him. He fell asleep, and like within thirty seconds, he had a cigarette lit. Yeah, because Sean Sean is in Sean charge of Beetlejuice. Him. So Beetlejuice, as soon as he sees Sean is asleep, he lights up the cigarette. So I think is so they were gonna they were gonna actually land the plane. Here's a guy who was on the plane. Robert, you were on that plane, right? Yes. What happened? Basically, uh, there was smoke. You could smell the smoke in the air. The stewardess came flying over to him. <laughs> And she uh, basically, she started, you know, she started really yelling at him, and we're going to have to emergency land the plane. It's a federal flinch, blah, blah, blah. What and did Beetlejuice uh, do? What's that? What was Beetlejuice doing? He just kept smoking? Beetle, Beetlejuice wasn't, wasn't disrespectful at this point yet. Right. Okay. <laughs> but what happened was, once she kind of, because the big guy, that big guy that's always with him. Yeah, Sean. Me, 
he kind of he kind of spoke on behalf of Beetlejuice because yeah. apparently Beetlejuice couldn't read the sign and couldn't understand understand the sign. Right, and Beetlejuice, you don't read it all. No, no, all right. <laughs> See, see, he knows he gets away with it. So they didn't, they're, under federal law, you have to land the plane if, if someone starts to do it. Up, yeah. but they took a look at Beetlejuice and they figure, well, okay, he's a special case. Uh-huh. Yeah. I guess the big guy kind of like just talked the lady, whatever. I don't right. know what happened. I couldn't really hear what was going on. But right. once we landed, um, they, he, he was up talking to the pilot. So I thought like the pilot might have been a big fan or whatever. Right. The next thing I know, he started verbally abusing the... The stewardess that attacked him. Really? Beetlejuice. You told it. You told off the stewardess. Yeah. What did you say What'd to you her? Say? I called her bitch. You did. And I asshole. Really? Jeez. Yeah. No kidding. No bullshit. No. Hey, easy. Wait, hey, wait, you. Yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, you told the, the stewardess she was a bitch and an a hole. Yeah. And then you, and then, and then she threatened you again. Yeah. And I said, when I see you, I'll beat the shit out of you. Well, oh, well, you can't God. say that. You can't say that. You said when you see her, you'll beat the ass out of her. You yeah. Say, yeah. Seven, 400 pounds, he's a grown man, and don't disrespect me. Right. <laughs> Wait, you thought yeah, they were treating man, you like a you're kid? If you're a real man, why don't you come to me and say that in my face, you faggot? <laughs> <laughs> if you're a real man. Was he talking to me? Yeah. I'm sticking up for him. Why is he coming after me? I don't know. <laughs> he's Beetlejuice. He's Beetlejuice. <laughs> you don't like this guy. No Beetlejuice, I'm sticking him in my pocket. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, why don't you come in here and say that, you faggot? <laughs> right. Beetle just doesn't take any crap from anybody, right? Oh, just- yeah, you know, we were shooting some stuff on this on the Vegas Strip, and this car went by, and everyone, I mean, you see the head, you see this guy once, you know him. <laughs> right. So, so the car went by, and they opened the windows. They're like, yo, they were just heckling him a little bit, but they were fans right. of the show and fans of his. So he, he just got it. What, did he, what was he saying? It was curse like, of man. He's like, come over here. You, come over here. Come over here. I'll kick your... And he was like waving at that stick, and he's like waving it at him. Right, right. <laughs> Attitude. Well, you probably control. a lot of people because of your short height, they think they can kick your ass. But you, they had to let them know that you will fight them, right? You will fight anybody. I fight anybody stronger than them. Right. I'm stronger than them. The stewardess. You would beat up the stewardess. Yeah. You yeah. beat up I'll, girls. I'll, I'll weigh two hundred pounds. I'll kill that guy. Right. <laughs> I <laughs> kill that guy. By the way, the pilot was laughing during all this. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the record. So, Juice, uh it was it was a wild trip down to Vegas, right? Right. Right. Okay. But do you know you're not supposed to smoke on a plane? I didn't see the smoke. They say so. Don't smoke inside. That's what it says on it. Huh? <laughs> see how he gets away with it? Yeah. No, did you know you're not? It's against the law to smoke on a plant. Hey, I didn't have a choice. I'm <laughs> <laughs> You needed to smoke. He was in the plane and he right. needed to smoke. Right. What kind of cigarettes you smoke? It was Newports. Newports. Right. Yeah. Menthol. Yeah. Yeah. So menthol. menthol. Yeah. So w- when the stewardess comes over and says, "Listen, you, you're not allowed to smoke here." Put you, that out. What did you say to her? What did I say to her? I said, get the half away from me, bitch. Really? Because yeah. you're having a nice smoke. You weren't bothering anybody. No. Right, all right. You know what? He gambled also. Well, really? He was, he was playing blackjack, and I think he was like hitting on 20 or something. You hit on 20? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you don't care, right? I don't care. He lost 200 bucks in about three minutes. <laughs> right. Why do you hit on 20? I could have hit on 20. I could have hit on 25. Right. <laughs> You'll hit on 25. All right. Well, well, listen, I all I know is I saw a tape of you out there. You were with all the women. Every woman wanted Beetlejuice. Yep. It's true. It is. Look at this. Look at this. Look what's there going on out there. There it is. Him. There they are kissing him. <gasps> oh, my goodness. <laughs> They're bigger than all the girls were all over Beetlejuice. What are you saying to him? He's talking. He's got a rap. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yes, go ahead. You're on the air. Hey, Howard. Yeah. Uh, it's brilliant having this guy. You know, he's hilarious. You love Beetlejuice. I love Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, I'm a big fan. <laughs> One of your fans, Beetlejuice. I hear you, brother. Yeah? Hey, Howard. Yes. Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> you don't have nothing we don't to say. Know. <laughs> we don't know what you're going to say. Tony, go ahead. Howard. Yeah. The funniest thing I've ever seen. The first time I ever met Beetlejuice with my friends, he was working at a carnival, handing out softball to knock down the bottles. I swear to you God. You used to work at a carnival? Yeah. I've been there for nine years. You still, you still work at Carnival. Yeah, I still work there, yeah. yeah. In Jersey City. And we, we didn't care about winning in the sand, obviously. We just stayed there because we were cracking up at the size of his freaking head. What? <laughs> well, people love Beetlejuice, right? No, that is. You know about such people over there on the side. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? What would you say? No. It was a class <laughs> shit I made up. Okay. I don't know what he Thanks, said. Yeah. All right. Thank you. 
Uh, Gary the Retard wants to say hi. Go ahead, Gary the Retard. Hey, how are you? Hi, Beetlejuice. Hey, G What's Beetlejuice, up? What's you, know, up? you know Gary the Retard? Yeah. You know me, What's up, man? What's up? Oh, what's up, man? Hey, How's the joke going? Oh, <laughs> hey, you know what? You should be back for the next street because I'm going to be back to New York again. So you better come to Howard's radio station again. Hey, I'm always here, bro. I'm and always you better here. come when I come because I'm leaving there uh, a week from next Thursday. Come back to New York. I'd like to listen to these two guys talk. They seem to have a meeting of the minds. So you guys go ahead. I won't interrupt. Yeah. What's right. up? Talk What's... to me. <laughs> hey, Beatrice, how did you get all these good looking women back there? Hey, got to hold on and hand in them, brother. Got to <laughs> speak nicely, bro. Can you, can you set me up with some of them? <laughs> oh, I'll give you a couple. Yeah, I need, I need a woman. These uh, these guys are like the Martin and Lewis. Oh my goodness! Of, uh, <laughs> this is the best conversation I'll, I'll each one of them's ever had. Me. I'll set you up. All right, all right. Anyway, hey Gary, uh, thank you very much, Gary the retard, everybody. Mm. All right, Jack, you're on the air. Jack, go ahead. No, Jack, I guess. Hello. All right. Well, I can see we've run out of time. Jack is floored by that conversation. Right. He, he's still stunned. <laughs> yeah. Beetlejuice, congratulations! Thank you for going to pick up this award. Uh, on my behalf at Another the... Another stellar appearance. Yeah. I'm working on a new movie called Dumb and Dumber 2. <laughs> and I think I know who's going to be in it. No, dumb ass. <laughs> dumb G-S. Right. Gangster love. All right. We're going to take a break. When we come back, more of this nonsense. Don't let it drop down, so. All right. Let me tell you what's going on. Uh, next, I'm bringing in Hank and Beetlejuice. Woohoo! Evidently, they met. Out in the hall for the first time, and we're fighting. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah, they they never, met never met before. Never met before. Did they have a birthday party? I don't know. They never had an interaction before. Wow. Wow. And they were fighting? Yeah. Got there's a whole hear about that. There's a thing going on between those two. Some guy's coming down here to suck Hank's toes Ooh. in order to get his wife breast implants. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on out there? Well, I just got I just got the inside scoop. They actually did meet once before, mm -hmm. and that's what started this whole argument. They met at the birthday show. Yeah. yeah. And I guess uh, Hank wanted to go meet celebrities, and Beetle just told him it wasn't a good idea to just sit down and you know just behave. Mm. And then they started, I guess, arguing a little bit, and one guy threatened to bitch slap the other guy. All right, let me let me see what's going Two on. Two bitches right. slapping each okay, other. Okay, this is gonna be good. Uh, let's let's get to it. There's a whole bunch of things to uh, get to. Let's uh, bring in Hank the Angry Drunken Dwarf. He is here. Yeah, let's bring in Hank. He's Hank the Angry Dwarf. Here he comes. No, that's Beetlejuice. That's not Hank. Ah, we wanted to keep him separate. We'll All right, then that. bring him Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, <laughs> whatever I say, is Beetlejuice has dyed his hair green. It's, it's St. Patrick's Day. He is wearing green eyebrows. He has painted his eyebrows and hair green. Oh, hold on, Beetlejuice. Take a seat. And and he's got a beautiful green St. Patty's Day outfit on. Move down to that he's microphone. He's serious today. He is serious. Always love to talk to the great Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, how are you? One second, he's getting himself prepared. Well, it takes a little while to get up on that chair. Yeah, Beetlejuice, how are you? I'm doing good. Good to see you. Thank you. You know, it's so funny. Uh, you know, uh, they told me Beetlejuice was going to be in the St. Patty's Day Parade, and I expected you to be wearing a great outfit, and you are. Is it hard to dye your hair green like that? No, I spray paint it. Oh, you spray oh, paint it. Oh, yeah. what'd you do? Go to the hardware store? Yeah. And where do you get uh, paint like that? Do you, I mean, do, do, you, do you, is it hard to wash out paint like that? I mean, is uh, it going to be like that for a while? No, you'll wash it out. It'll, it'll wash out. It will. Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. Right, right. It's right. washable. Right. Now, how does a guy like you, even though you're well-known and you're a celebrity, how do you get into the St. Patrick's Day Parade? That's very difficult to get into, isn't it? Well, yeah, the gays haven't hard. been able to. Right. How did you get in? Well, it was pretty hard to do. It was hard. And what are you going to do? You're going to be in a car and you're going to wave to the people? Yeah. You How are. long have you been trying to get in? Oh, I tried to get in like for a whole hour. For a whole hour. And it, yeah. it took you that whole hour right. to get in. Okay. Yeah. Now what was going on? Now, now what was going on between you and Hank, the angry drunken dwarf? I understood words were exchanged. Well, it was changed before that I came in. Really? Wow. Wow. I didn't know you two. Hank is uh, here. Who knew there was bad blood between Let's two. bring in Hank and find out what the problem is. Maybe we can patch you guys up. What do you think? I don't know. All right. Let me see. Hank, come on in. Hank the angry. He's Hank the angry dwarf. Here he comes. All right. Hank is dressed in St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> He's painted. He is wearing a green 
<laughs> Leprechaun outfit. He is. Call it. How you doing? Hi, Hank. Uh, hi. You know, I was uh, a little. Robin. Robin's over there. Here, I'm Jackie. Uh, Robin and Pope Robin and Jackie are already there. All right. Sit down. Have you been drinking? Oh, you oh, of course. <laughs> what are you drinking? Help, help him up. Help him up onto Drink the couch. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny to watch Gary coordinate Hank. And now he's trying to get the headphones well, over that hat. Yeah. No, I think the hat screws the. Uh... <laughs> the reason, the reason I take your hat off. The reason that I I asked I, Gary and I, KC I, here. Put my headphones on, Chris. Right. Hank, look at me. He said to I, stop. I am. Um, all right. The reason I, I have Casey and Gary here is I understand that you and Beetlejuice are enemies now? What happened? Actually, I really don't have anything against the guy. But. What? <laughs> <laughs> he's barely conscious. <laughs> right. and he, and he starts no, falling no, over on the couch. Right. Right. He falls over on the couch, and you got to pick him up. <laughs> the headphones are. Beetlejuice, tight. you don't drink, do you? Me? Yeah, yeah I drink water. You yeah. do drink. I drink water than him. Water. Really? I doubt that. What do you drink? I drink water than him. He's water and him? More, more, more than. Oh, more than him. You drink more than Hank. Yeah. What do you drink? Because Hank gets up in the morning well, first no, thing. Milk doesn't count. Milk? I get up like three o'clock in the morning, and I know me. I drink a whole case. A whole case of beer. Yeah. Right. And, but I Hank, doubt that. You do doubt it. I doubt it. Why do you say you doubt it? I doubt if he even drinks one beer a day. <laughs> yeah, a day. I drink like four hundred more. How many you could drink? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I, I I don't keep track. Well, you don't. No, no. What do you do? Make a record of how many beers you had today? Wow. Me? I got had like yeah. four. I can find, I got had like four cases <laughs> at one time. How many you got? Have you been drinking today, Beetlejuice? Me? Nah. I drink mine at four o'clock in the morning. Ah. Wow. You're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> wow. If I'm, if I'm a liar, how come I can drink more than you right now? How do you know that? In fact, Hank's got his, he's got Hank's his booze with him. Right it out. Oh, Hank, yeah. that's, that's Howard. What is he drinking? If you could smell that bottle, you would get high. Really? What is in that, Hank? It's almost pure vodka. Vodka. What kind of vodka? You ever have Grey Goose vodka? I've had all kinds of vodka. Oh, all right. I've got Gordon's vodka. He doesn't time. care. He doesn't care. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's the thing about booze. It doesn't have to be good. Yeah. Howard, I'm getting a, I'm getting a cross <laughs> The bottle yeah. smells really? so bad. Man. Beetlejuice, though, you don't drink like him. I mean, this guy carries really? a baby bottle with him full of booze. Yeah. Me? Yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. carry a bottle. You don't carry a bottle? No. Nah. Well, that's because you're not strong enough to carry one. <laughs> Me? I drink my vodka straight, buddy. Straight up. Right. Yeah. Without a twist. All right, listen. Howard, I don't know if I told you, one night I was out with Beetlejuice, and a guy that was like six feet tall gave him some lips, and Beetlejuice was right on him. He's going, yeah, come he on now. Back down. Throw, throw it down right now. He goes, I'll kick your ass. And it's, and it's, really, Beetlejuice? He's not afraid. You don't care if a guy's big. I don't, I don't care how big he is. Me, I weigh like about 48 pounds. What can he do to me? <laughs> he can't do nothing to me. Right. You can bite people on the balls. <laughs> nah, I'll bite you straight. I'll like probably man. like it. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. Oh, hey. Have you ever been in a fight, Beetlejuice? Oh, me? Man. Pretty times. And you won? Yeah, I knocked the guy out before. <laughs> because how tall are you, Beetlejuice? Me? Yeah. I'm six seven. No, no, you. Four hundred eighty pounds. No, you're. you're <laughs> <laughs> you fight like a guy who's six seven, four hundred eighty pounds. But you were what about three feet tall? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're not. How tall are you, Hank? Four one. Four foot one, and, and Beetlejuice is smaller than you were tall. No, he's about the same height as me. No, I'm four six, bro. Oh, no, you're around the same height. I'm not going by your uh, exact uh, records. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> out. Wow. <laughs> Peter, just sometimes... I'm about your IQ. Hey, Peter, just sometimes I, I wonder, do you know my name? I was sorry. Yeah, okay. I didn't, sometimes I don't know, because I know you went up to Stuttering John in the hall and you thought he was me. Really? Yes, yeah. <laughs> Nah, Who's I wouldn't dig of that. Right. You know what that's why I said that's what his IQ is. Oh. Uh, why, are you too, why is he mad at you, Beetlejuice? I don't know. Right. I don't know what's wrong with his attitude. What, yeah, what is your problem, Hank, with Beetlejuice? Are you jealous that Beetlejuice is such a big star? No, I don't think he is. Uh, <laughs> when I was at your birthday party, you know, uh, uh, what, about two, three months ago or whatever, uh, I was sitting at the same table with him. And I was trying to be nice, and uh, he was being uh, 
No, uh, let me see what's a good word to put. A moron. Oh. Oh. Were you acting, uh. A moron. Were you acting really bad to Hank at the birthday book show? Really? Yes, he no. was. What did yes. he do? What did, no, do no, Hank? No. what did he do? Well, he didn't want me to meet William Shatner. Well, you, you don't want to want to meet him, not me. That's all right. So, uh, if I wanted to meet him, what difference does it make to you? What How difference? What difference make more? I ended up uh, meeting him anyways. <laughs> <laughs> but how did he try to stop I you? don't listen to you. I don't I, stop nobody. I got my just, own problems. He just, he, just, he just spilled out his stupid mouth. That's what. Uh -huh. Hey, well, as long as I can do that, I'll do twice of that. Oh, oh, so you could be twice as stupid. <laughs> well, if I'm probably stupid, but I ain't dumb. <laughs> oh, you you must be if you can't tell the difference between stupid and dumb. Beetlejuice, you know? And dumb, stupid and dumb, at least I'm smarter. Hey, Beetlejuice, you know who William Shatner is? Ah. You don't know? No. So I'm saying, so why would you care if Hank meets William Shatner? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's none of my business. Right. But can I ask a question? Hank, if, if Beetlejuice says... I can have a better conversation with a corpse. <laughs> If he was just he doesn't want you to meet him, why do you have to listen to him? I don't never meet him. Never. Yeah, I don't I even just, like you. I can't even imagine. I don't imagine even like you. Good. How's that? Good. Good. Now I can sleep uh, comfortably. Yeah? I can sleep twice morning days and morning you. <laughs> 14 hours a day, buddy. 14 hours a day you sleep. Wow. Uh, how do you know my, my life cycle? And, and that's not even true. You... Moron, jerk, jackass. Well, this, wait a well, second. Wait a second. Well, Peter, just, this, you two guys should be buddies. You're both small in stature, and me? yeah, I don't I'm understand. More taller than he is. Yeah. Wow. I can't believe it. So I guess you told Hank not to meet William Shatner, and he took offense. Hey, he took I offense over by himself. Hey, I ain't got nothing to do with that. Right. Why? Why? I wonder why Peter just didn't want you to meet William Shatner. Hey. I don't know myself. Because uh, he doesn't have any brains. Beetlejuice, do you not like the way Hank acts? I don't like the way he acts. He acts on his own. I don't bother. Well, talk. I got my own problem. I don't. I don't give a damn about what you think about me because you're a moron. You're I an idiot. A moron. You're a jerk. All right. You're you're I'm a stupid a, little midget. But if I, I'm a midget, how come I'm taller than you? Oh, good point. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. You're not taller than me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whatever. And if you are, it's only by an inch or two. <laughs> well, I'm even taller than you. Well, I weigh more than you. Right. All right. All right. Do you think in their world an inch is like a foot? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Inch is a big deal. <laughs> they put your brain into a parakeet and would boy, he, he must have. Yeah. I got a thousand dollar parrot. How's that, buddy? I never seen Hank oh, this man. What do you have sex with it? <laughs> nah. Yeah, I'm He's sure you bird. do. I'm sure you do. I know you do. I Can you earn like three thousand dollars in one year? Yeah, I don't think so. Give pal. me an honest answer. I know you have sex with it. <laughs> She is well, you don't have, by a woman, you don't have by a woman, woman in there right now, I bet you're going to take it. If you had woman, you wouldn't even know what to do with her. I know what to do with it. I'm the best. Yeah. Right. I've seen Beetlejuice yeah. have sex with a woman. It's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I couldn't even imagine it. It must be the most horrible sight in the world. Yeah. It's well, as long there. as I can do that, but long I'm better. Yeah, Hank, you shouldn't talk. I heard you didn't perform too well the last yeah, time you were uh -oh. out. Listen to this. This guy, I set him up with this hot blonde, yeah. full-size chick, six feet tall, Beetlejuice, Hank. And she pulled down your pants. She was trying to use her hand on you, and you passed out. Oh. And you didn't get aroused. Yes, I did. You did? Because she had a spank you, remember? I have a, I have a, a signed autograph photo from her about, like, about... But you didn't get aroused. Yeah. You passed yeah, out. I, I was trying to get you sex. Yeah, I know. But I, I, I could still be passed out and have sex. What about that, Beetle? Just said he couldn't get aroused. Well, Don't believe he, could, he could get around. He, I could get around more than him, and he can't get it. Mm -hmm. right. Don't believe him, he's full of bull. <laughs> hey, man, hey, we maybe the man told him the truth. I saw it on videotape. I got it on videotape. Right. All right. Well, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not just doing you uh, completely, but uh, All right. it happened. All right, so accidents happen. Yes, Gary? 
Didn't you think uh, when when you saw Hank with that woman? Did you see Hank naked? By the way, yes. That was one of the most frightening things I'd ever seen. I felt bad for the guy because he's he looks like a kid except he's all hairy and stuff all over his body. <laughs> it was really weird. Hank, I'm sorry. That's all right, Gary. I, just, I was just describing a fact. I apologize. Well, he has full size genitals. You have a nice size to you. Wow. Yeah, he does. Right, Hank? You got a nice size uh, genitals. Yeah, as long as I'm uh, looking at uh, Beetlejuice. <laughs> hey, at least my body's more stronger than yours. Right. You want to bet best. on it? How about how about a, a little people's Olympics? Yeah. I, I tell you what, I look more than him. Lift more? Uh, who could do more push-ups? Yeah, well, I, can't I don't do, do push-ups. No, you can't I'll, do I'll admit that. I can't do them either. It must be a, a thing with dwarves. Hmm. What's your best uh, sport, Hank? What can you really, what are you good at? When you're Drinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bending that elbow. Maybe they should arm wrestle. <laughs> Maybe, but um, I've only been a girl once in my whole life. But, oh. All right, well, anyway, Beetlejuice, uh, you're going to be appearing in the St. Paddy's Day Parade. Yeah. That should be a great accomplishment for you. Uh, the certainly. one here in New York. Yeah. Well, yeah. Good. Yeah. Maybe the Irishman will trample over you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, as long as I do it, you can't find me, brother. You're not in the parade, are you, Hank? I don't know. He <laughs> doesn't. He's in his own parade. Do you know, do you know, do you know what today? Do you know what? what? Do you know what nationality Hank is? No. I, I just always assumed he's Irish. You know, the boss. I thought he was German. No, I, I think he's mostly Lebanese. Really, Hank? Really? You're Lebanese? Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> French are my mother and English. I think so. What did he just say? <laughs> French are my mother English. <laughs> You're English, mostly. The most no, of, Lebanese, mostly. Mostly. And there's a possibility that some American Indian. <laughs> right. Everybody has. Yeah, I think the drinking would indicate that. Santo ran through town. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot of Indians don't drink. Of course, it's just a stereotype. <laughs> I know that. Right. I'm not stupid. Right. And Beetlejuice, you are what, African-American? Me? Yeah. 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 Ancestry from Africa? Yeah. Yes. You should be honk. Why? Oh, because he's here. <laughs> that would be long, bro. Boy, you two really did not get they along. They hate each other. You two did not hit it off. It's not because he's black, because I've had sex with black women. I had I've like had two or three women. of them at the same time. You've had two or three black women at the same time? Wow. Yeah. Well, no, I wouldn't say at the same time. Mm. Well, he did, Hank. Hank, are you comfortable? <laughs> he's going to fall off the couch. He didn't even have one white like woman at the same time. What did you say? Put your arms up. <laughs> he's going bye-bye. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. Ventriloquist dummy. Mm. <laughs> even Beetlejuice doesn't believe how drunk you are, Hank. Even Beetlejuice is laughing. Beetlejuice, he says you haven't even had one white woman. Have you had a white Me? woman? Yeah. I had a white woman, but my wife, only my wife wanted to be with. That's it. Mm -hmm. You have a wife? Yeah, her name Katie. Wow. Wow. Well, I didn't know you had a wife. There, Hank. He's oh, got a wife. Boy. He's got a wife. Yeah, but I have a lot of girlfriends, and that's better. <laughs> Why buy a cow when you can get the milk for free? <laughs> Me? I got a $3,000 car. How much you got? I got three or four cars at one time. You don't even have about uh, three cents in, in, in there. <laughs> How do you know? You look in my bank book? I got a lot no, of money. No, I don't want to. I don't, and I don't want to look at your bank book. Peter, just who watches your money for you? I know your manager takes in the money, but who gives you the money and who puts it in the bank for you? I do. You do. You take care of your own money. You sign yeah. your own checks. You sign your own checks and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. How much money you got? Daddy has sex with. Huh? <laughs> but how much money do you have? What are you worth? I worth like over three thousand. Three thousand dollars. Really. I didn't realize that. Petty cash. <laughs> oh, that's real money, man. Wait, Hank, Hank, aren't you the guy who waits for his check every month so you can buy the liquor? I buy the liquor every day. <laughs> okay. Somebody's phone is ringing. Beal, just is that you? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. If you have business, who okay. cares? Hang up on it. Dude, you don't have a cell phone. I got a call. So uh, I don't want one. Go ahead and take your call. Yo, what's up? Nobody there? Yeah. No, they're not your sex wife. Hello? Sean. Beetlejuice, it's your wife. Yeah, what you want, honey? Are you, when are you coming home? I don't know. I'm in, I'm in Harris Star right now. Where you okay, at? Okay, I'll see you later. Where you at? 
Yeah. You hung up on you because she doesn't You're really hanging like up it. on me? You already did. I'm taking care of the kids. For what? I told you I'll be out in two minutes. Do you have to beat your wife? Sometimes? Oh, yeah. What, beat his wife? Yeah. What, is that a radio he's talking to his wife? I don't know. Yeah. The walkie-talkie. Peter Juice, you got a, uh, where is your wife? She's at home? Yeah. Yeah. She's at the whole house. In a what? No, she's in my, that's my house. I'm the boss. Yeah, and uh, do you have to have a get uh, strong with her? And, and you don't hit your wife, do you? Me? No. Yeah, he no. He does? No, I never hit No, you he beats him. <laughs> <laughs> does your wife beat you? My wife beat me? No. Nah. Yeah. yeah, she does. Right. He's lying. But you are the king of the castle over there? No, he's not. And what, right, I'm, I'm the, the queen. king of the castle, brother. And what you say goes over there. You wear the pants. It goes, it goes. And what, your wife sounds like a white woman, is she? Yeah. Yeah, she is. Wow. No kidding. A normal size white one? Yeah. Yeah? You have to bring your wife in sometimes. Really? I had no idea. And the kids. Is she a fatso or has she got a nice body? Nice body. Nice body. Yeah. All right. We want to see her naked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She'll like it. All right. Beetlejuice. I know you have. I mean, obviously, you've got four kids. Yeah. You yeah. have four kids? No, me? no, not me. Her, him. All right. Beetlejuice. I got six of them on one time, brother. She already got another one coming. Really? She's wow. pregnant. Got one in the oven. Good for you. Oh. You're going to be a great dad. Oh. Uh, Hank, thank you. And Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> Hank's almost asleep. You don't like it, you don't have to go there. <laughs> uh, he woke up. So much fun to hang out with an angry, drunken dwarf. Yeah. I can't At even tell you. In the morning, you're yeah. I think Hank might have made it in his pants. Yeah. When, when you do the podcast. Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> Hank's doing, doing a limbo. What's the matter, Hank? You falling off the couch? No, I'm trying to find the show. I'm trying to find the show. All right. Oh, you okay? Stand up. Oh my goodness! <laughs> we gotta take a break. Somebody drop down so. Hey, where's Beetlejuice? He's out there. Yeah, bring him in. Send him to Beetlejuice. Hey, this guy's I'm running. Still Beetlejuice playing video games. Beetlejuice is playing? <laughs> this guy's really running for senator. <sighs> Come on in, Beetlejuice. You look great. <laughs> got a beanie and Cecil hat on. <laughs> Love the Beetlejuice. He's got a confident walk. Like he could win. He might win <laughs> if enough people write him in. <laughs> Good to see you, Beetlejuice. <laughs> senator. Wow. Is it catching on, this senator for Beetlejuice thing? Yeah. Well, we had Beetlejuice go out and record a TV commercial. Mm -hmm. uh, I can only play the sound, obviously, because this stupid program doesn't have any pictures. <laughs> but uh, Beetlejuice went out and recorded a spot, and we're trying to buy time. Really? Unlike the Letterman show and oh stuff. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> You're got, taking this seriously. I am. I'm behind him. I'm voting for him. I'm voting for you. Thank you. You, you know would what? really like to serve. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, he's serious about it. In fact, he's not even drinking this morning. I think he's sobered up for this uh, uh, campaign ahead. Did you drink this morning? Me? Yeah, just one beer. One, one beer. beer. One beer. Usually he has about a pack. Right. Hey, a six pack. A six pack by now. <laughs> you only have one beer. Me? Yeah, I had a six pack last night, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should I play the people the commercial? Yeah. Okay, this is Senator Beetlejuice commercial, and I think it's very effective. It's kind of long, but it makes its point. Hang in. Wondering who to vote for in the New York Senate? I'm Beetlejuice, baby. That's right, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice and Santa. Beetlejuice and Santa. A pint-sized, shrunken head black man with a mission. I want to get hot with the woman. I'm a badass man. I got a big head and I got a big ass pink. I'm 87 years old. I weigh 280 pounds. You fuck with me, you die. His stance on abortion. I fuck 24 hours a day. 11 days a week. I like abortion. It's good. I makes me horny with all these bitches. He has a great plan for a tax cut. I pay the people in New York a million dollars. They pay $24 in taxes. I can pay and I can get laid. I just thank you shit you never seen me do it before. Plan for the education system? Everybody go to school for 44 years. And what does Beetlejuice have to say to Rick Lazio and Hillary Clinton? I'll bury their ass. I'll beat the shit out of the asshole. I can beat their ass and I can win, but I can still beat their ass and win. I can win. The plan. And finally, how does Senate candidate Beetlejuice feel about drugs? I do fucking drugs every day. Kids can do drugs. Faggots can do drugs. Bitches in the hall, they want to get drugs and get high. 
Hey, I got all the shit they want to eat. Save the video. Come to my office. I hope you ride off. Here's some of the whack fat to show their support for Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice speaks the truth. Beetlejuice are bad daughter. I support Beetlejuice because he would create special programs for people like me. He's a blood spike son of a bitch. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, I like him. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. 80% But wait, there are opponents of Beetlejuice. Here's Hank the Angry Drunken Dwarf and John the Stutterer. They shouldn't vote for Beetlejuice just because he exists. He's an idiot. He's a scumball. He's a faggot. He's a moron. He's a low life. He's a big piece of trash. He's useless human. He sucks. Uh, uh, I won't uh, vote for Beetlejuice because he's a small-headed... Dumb, uh, 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 ugly, retarded prick. Beetlejuice for Senate, because we have a choice. Choose the black man with a little head. Brought to you by the Friends of Beetlejuice and the Crackhead Bob Foundation. A uh, Beetlejuice, baby. Uh, uh, Beetlejuice. Say that, Beetlejuice. And what's next for Beetlejuice if he wins the Senate race? I want the president, you motherfuckers. All right, it's you. You want to be the president? Yeah. Beetlejuice, what are you running for? President. No, no, right now. Beetlejuice, president. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were running for senate. I uh, am. Yeah. You are doing that as well. That's, yeah. Yes. So, how many senators are there? Oh, Bob. About 200. 200. That's right, pretty close. <laughs> hey, Beetlejuice, though, uh, you are running for a Senate. That Hank is the Dwarf. He a, is he a resident of New York State? Yeah. You, you live in New York, right? Me, yeah, I've been living in New York for two years. You have? Wow. All right. No. Howard, he doesn't live in New York. He doesn't? No. Where does he live? <laughs> he lives in New Jersey. Oh. You can't run for, for Senate in New York. Sure he could. <laughs> sure I could. Sure he could. He's doing it. I was born in New York. See? You were born here. He's Beetlejuice. He's Beetlejuice. Hey, Hillary isn't from If here. people write him in, it doesn't matter where he's from. <laughs> of course he could do that. All right, if you say so. Beetlejuice, um, that Hank, he says some nasty stuff on you, but that's that's a bold hey, thing. that's politics, uh, right? That's politics shit. Right, you don't care. You don't care about that. I don't believe a word he says anyway. I don't believe him either. What about politics. John the Stutterer? How did he, why did I don't know why he's against Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, but I'm for Beetlejuice. Well, I don't think so. I don't think you can handle me. I don't think so. Now, what happened? Someone told me you have a blonde beetle shaved onto your head. Hmm? Yeah. Your hair is in the shape of a beetle. Uh, yeah. Would you mind if I took a look at that? Yeah, sure. Sure. All right. Sure. Yeah, right there goes Beetlejuice. Uh -huh. He's got a beanie on of some kind with a propeller. And there it is. Wow. There's the beetle. Look at that. He's got a beetle on top of his head. <laughs> that looks good. A beetle for Beetlejuice. Like yeah. Who does that for you? Huh? Who does that for oh, you? Oh, the guy in New York. Mm. It's a hairline guy. Right. A what? <laughs> now, as senator, you know you're going to have to answer questions. Have you ever had... Uh... How can you tell yes. that's a beetle? Yeah. It's a beetle. You can see it's a beetle. Yeah. It's a beetle on his head. <laughs> it's, uh... Stay in the back. Uh, you're going to have to answer political questions <laughs> if you run for... What do, bro? What? Whatever you want me to do. Yeah. Do you think you can yeah. handle a press conference? Oh, he could handle it. <laughs> Let's give him a little test. You know, give him a press conference. Want me to ask him questions? Yeah. Peter Juice, you want me to ask you questions so you can practice for your press conference? Yeah, well, you want to do All right, okay. I'm going to ask you a couple of simple questions. Maybe I should ask him some stuff about government? Yeah. All right, let me think. Mm. Mm. Like Beetlejuice, what do you think of the energy crisis? What do we should do about oil prices? Oil well, prices, we just put it down like two fifty. Right, three fifty. That's it. Just set a price. Three fifty a barrel. Just. Oh, two fifty all gas a tank. Right, and that will be it. And then you'll be done. Yeah. Right. He's right. Okay. In a way, you just set a new price, and then no one will complain. What about welfare as opposed to workfare? Oh, welfare. Well, welfare is just like it's like no share homes. You know, that's mm -hmm. all the thing they do is no share homes. What? All people. Yeah. You might need some help with that issue. <laughs> Where are you stand on uh, on uh, equal rights for the women? Women? Uh, they had their own rights. 
<laughs> right. Yeah, that old conference. I ain't worried about that. And who would you appoint to your staff? Who my you staff? want to work with? Yeah. Who you well, work with? Well, I'll probably work for my friend. Sean Woody. Sean Woody will be your staff? Yes. <laughs> yeah. What about gun control? Gun control? Oh, don't worry about that. I got that under control. You do have that under control. How do you have that under control? Because I've been there. I've been in the Army. Oh, you have? Yeah. You served in the military? That's good. Yeah. What war? What war? Well, I've been in the war for 1972. Right. So that was what war? Well, that was... Were you ever in the Vietnam War? Yeah. You were? Two you, years I've been there. What did you do? Me? They shot him out of a cannon. <laughs> no. They didn't? What did you do in the war? Me? I you. shot a lot of people. You did? You killed how many people? About, about 200. Chinamen? Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Or was that our own people? <laughs> <laughs> Which people did you shoot? No. Right. People from China. Right. Ah. What about Social Security? How can we save it? Uh, Security? Yeah. Well... You got to have that as a sponsor, though. Okay. You know? Well, there it is. Uh, he has answered. <laughs> I'm sold. <laughs> you, you were involved with Desert Storm, right? Yeah, I've been there twice. Twice. Where is that? Desert Storm? Up in the mouth. Up in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> He knows his stuff. This kid's ready. He answers. Right. You're ready. Uh, he doesn't could you question. name the Prime wow. Minister of Israel? Yeah, for 20 years. All right. Will you legalize gambling? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I could get behind him. <laughs> yes, Doug. You know, it's fun. When I was recording the bit with him, it took him at least 50, 60 takes each line. Mm -hmm. It's like, repeat after me. If you give him a line, you'll be amazed by how he interprets a line like a simple well, What do you mean? What would you but say to him? Say, say, Beetlejuice, say my name is, say, I'm Beetlejuice. I'm Beetlejuice. Oh, perfect. He did it perfect. No, but that's that. That he didn't get that right. He it became. I'm right. the real. He just got it right. Give him another right. line. Give him another line. What kind of line do you want him to say? Say, say I'm six foot tall and I'm two hundred eighty seven pounds. I weigh two hundred eighty pounds. I see. <laughs> it was funny, but some of them just the the variations. What it, what came out was amazing. Whatever I say, you say. I'm Beetlejuice. I'm Beetlejuice. Look into the lens. Look into the lens. Now. I'm Beetlejuice. I'm Beetlejuice. Like with an attitude, like you're about to pick up a girl. Try to pick up. I'm, I'm Be real Beetlejuice. I'm Beetlejuice. I'm real Beetlejuice. No, no, there's no real involved, bro. I'm real Beetlejuice. Serious. I'm Beetlejuice. Give me an attitude. Just Beetlejuice. You want to help, baby? You know? Act tough. I'm Are you real? Like you're mad. I'm real Beetlejuice. I'm real Beetlejuice. I'm Beetlejuice. I'm real Beetlejuice. Right? Not the real. I'm Beetlejuice. Look right in the hole. Audition for the Sopranos. Is that true? Sopranos, yeah, two years. Two years. Wow. What do you mean two years? So you went down to the big. Uh, they had a big audition or something where people lined up trying to get on the Sopranos yeah. for people who looked Italian. Yeah. Yeah. You think you look Italian? We? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you are a black man, though. Yeah, I've been Italian for two years. Mm. What? You've been, 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 been Italian for two years. Yeah. You can just choose to be Italian. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. He's also a police officer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Where's You're, your badge? There is his badge. Wow. It's right there. Wow. When did you join the force? Me? For two years. For two years you were on there. two years. Right. He's been Italian for two years. He's on the force for two years. Yeah. You work <laughs> undercover? Oh, at least. Something at least like that. sometime, yeah. Yeah. And what kind of cases do you work? Huh? Bunko, uh, Vice, what do you work? Oh, I just, I just do overcover stuff. Un you know? Undercover stuff. Overcover. Overcover. Right. Well, anyway. Oh, is it drug dealers? <laughs> yeah. Something yeah. like that. <laughs> Miami Vice in, in the house. Everybody loves Beetlejuice. Tom, you're on the air with Beetlejuice. Who, me? Yeah. Who, me? What's up, Beetlejuice? <laughs> you are the bomb, dude. Thanks, man. Go vote for him. Beetlejuice, you got an open invitation to come down to Phoenix every, any day and smoke mad weed. Sure I do, bro. Anytime you want me to, I'll come down. You smoke weed, right? I would have you on every yeah, day. a little bit. You smoke a little weed? You don't do coke and stuff like that, do you? No. No. 
up on him one time. One time you did. Cook once. Two years. Cedar Juice, I wish that Howard would have you on every day, man. You just wake me up and brighten my morning, brother. Hey, I wake up in the morning and eat coffee, brother. I love someone, Cedar Juice. Someone told me they, they ran into you at the, not at the airport, but somewhere, and they said they asked for an autograph and you would not sign autographs. No, I don't do that. You do not sign? I do not sign, no. Why? Because I lay in love. You are laying low. Oh, when you're out and you're not performing, you don't want to be bothered. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you some Beetlejuice yeah. facts that I learned. And this is interesting to everybody. Beetlejuice buys reading glasses to read the newspapers even though he can't read. <laughs> is that true? Me? Yeah. I can read. You can read? Yeah. Give me something to read. Let me give you something to read. You can't read. That. Someone tell me you can't read. Buys reading glasses even though yeah, See if you can read that. That's what I swear. <laughs> what are you giving him, Case? Uh, this is this is some notes on Al Leiter. All right, go ahead. Maybe he needs his reading glasses. No, nah, I got my reading glasses right here. Let me see. If someone told me you can't read. Oh, I can eat. Really? Yeah, I can oh, eat. Right, put show, those on. show. Show us. <laughs> I can eat. <laughs> What's that say? It says, Beetlejuice says, do you love all? He love all well. Do you love well? All right. All right. See, do, do something simple. Spell uh, cat. The spell word. cat? A-T-E-R. All right. Okay. Well, he does know letters. <laughs> Howard, Howard, it said Al Ladder will, will earn $32 million. We know. He we, know we know. We know. Yeah. <laughs> can you spell dog? Dog. L-E-R. Right. All right. Well, he can't spell. <laughs> so why do you buy all these reading glasses? Me? Because I read. All right. You like to read. What was the last book you read? Me? Or the last book I read? Uh-huh. I only read like 20 minutes. You don't read books? <laughs> yeah, I read books by 4, 24 hours. What's your favorite book? <laughs> My favorite books? Artists. All right. Okay. And Beetlejuice really likes Slim Jims, the packaged beef sausage snack. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, one time he was at a gas station and Beetlejuice came out of the convenience store with 40 Slim Jims. You love Slim Jims? 20. Jim? 20? Is that your favorite food? Yeah, Slim 20. Jims. And you like leftover food. He was one time working at a bachelor party. There were leftover meatballs. He, he, there were no plates left, so Beetlejuice wrapped the meatballs up in a napkin and put them in his pocket and then went home with them. Oh, my goodness. Right? Yeah, I did that. Yeah. And you love, one of your other favorite foods is you love mustard sandwiches. Wow. Yeah. But, but you call them ketchup sandwiches. Yeah. Why is that? It's like a religion. Right. And you love the way it tastes. Yeah. Well, there it is. Those are some Beetle facts. Any particular mustard? Oh, uh, hot and mustard. Who? Hot and mustard. All right. Okay. So there it is. And a lot of times Beetlejuice will order like $50 worth of takeout Chinese food and then only eat 3 or $4 it worth. Me about, it cost me about $20 for each. Right. Well, he proved he can read, and he proved he loves Chinese food and Slim Jims. Gourmet. Who handles his money? Does he handle his money? Yeah, what do you do when you get paid? Me? I had it all. I had all my money. You don't give it over to that guy, Sean? No. You I don't. had it myself. You Beetlejuice, you Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, if you have a dollar and two quarters at a dime, how much do you have? A quarter? A dollar twenty-five. How's that? A dollar, two quarters, and a dime. A dollar twenty-five. Well, he's pretty close. What is that? Howard, he doesn't handle his money. I know that. I can handle my money. How do you know? You wasn't even there. You have your own bank account? Me? Yeah. What bank do you go to? Me? Mm -hmm. I go to the bank in uh, Seacorkers. Ah, okay. Uh, And what is that, Gary? No, I was going to ask him... uh, How much money do you have on you right now? Do you have money in your pockets at this second if you handle your own money? Me? Yeah. What do you have? Me? <laughs> what do you think I have? Wow, look well, at that. How much is that, Beetlejuice? What do you got there? You got a roll. You got a watch. Jeez. A watch here cost me about a $1,000 watch. Not your watch. <laughs> dollars. Someone charged you $1,000 for that, that Casio you got on? Me, uh, just a $1,000 watch here. Really? Wow. You got like $4 on there. How much do you make in appearance? A million? Appearance? About 4000 4000 in appearance? Yeah. Beetlejuice, you see what I got here? I got a $50, yeah. $10 bill, a $5 bill, and a single. Yes, yeah, 100 much, How much do I have? 100 Well, that's pretty close. Oh, no, it's stop. Not. Close is yes, not, yes. Hmm. not horseshoes. Melanie, you're on the air. Hi. Um, I'm a reading specialist. Yeah. And um, that aspect that Beetlejuice has where he says, who, who, me, mm-hmm. and uh, he goes on about that. He, that's a auditory processing problem that he has. He's got no problem, honey. <laughs> F you. She's oh. saying you have a problem, oh, Beetlejuice. No, 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 I don't have a no problem, thing. honey. I you, don't have no you, problem, baby. I you, love people. You have no problem uh, giving, making love to this woman, do you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what, what, it helps him to uh, think 
when he when he repeats things. Yeah, it gives him a second to think. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I tell Gary to do the same thing. Gary won't do it. That's right. <laughs> he does have, you do have one problem, Beetlejuice, and I'm not saying this to be a bad guy, but what? he's got like a breath, a really bad breath thing going on. Oh, do you, Beetlejuice? Hey, Gary. Yeah. Hey. Nah, I don't have no bad breath, dude. It's okay. It happens. Uh, uh, Beetlejuice, did you go to school? Me? Yeah. How long? How far did you get in school? Me? I went to college for two years. <laughs> oh. You did go to college. What college? Huh? Snyder. Snyder College? Yeah. Where's that? Huh? Bergen Avenue. All right. College? Yeah. That's college. Snyder College. I think it's like, guy tells you it's college, just believe him. <laughs> All right, Melanie, thanks. I love you, Howard. Love you, too. What did uh, you get on your SATs, Beetlejuice? Huh? On my SAT? 20. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. Does he still have that girlfriend? You, you, you have a girlfriend? Yeah, I still have her. Oh, I didn't know that. Where'd you get her? Oh. Uh, a I white woman? Yeah. Wow. Mm. Howdy told me he's married. Yeah, I was. You are married? Yeah. You got a lot of kids, too, right? Yeah. How many kids do you have? Two. Two kids. All right. Well, what? listen. What? What are they girls, boys? Huh? Two boys and two girls. Aha. Uh-huh. You got two kids, two boys, two girls. <laughs> well, he, he is something else. I love yeah. the Beetlejuice. And Beetlejuice, I hope you do win. Are you a good father? Me? Yeah. <laughs> are the kids taller than you? Because you are a dwarf. Yeah they're, yeah, they're taller. They are taller. All four kids? Yeah, they're taller. All right. How old are they? Huh? No, they're older than me right now. They are. Your kids yeah. are older They're past than you. <laughs> you got any pets? Me? Nah. No? No. Nah. No pets. No pets. Nah. All right. That's Beetlejuice. Wow. He's going to be the next senator, I predicted. I Good hope job, so. Beetlejuice. Love you. We need that kind of thinking in government. Super senator. He's wearing a cape. It's a super senator on the back. I like abortion. It's good. I like abortion for two weeks. I like abortion, it's good. I like abortion, it's good. I met with my wife for 25 years. I like abortion. It's good. I like abortion for 25 years, though. No, I like abortion, it's good. I like abortion. It's good. It's good. I have babies like 25 years ago. <laughs> I like abortion, it's good. I like abortion for 25 years. Yeah, I had abortion. Where do you get 25 years from? Is bro? abortion Me? I had abortion for 25 years ago. Tell me abortion's good. Me? My abortion is always good. Abortion. I've never been fucking 20 years. I like abortion. It's good. I like abortion for 25 years. I'll bury that. I'll bury that. I'll bury that ass in, in Spanish. Um, Puerto Rico? I'm from Puerto Rico and I speak Spanish. I'll bury that ass. I bury that because I speak Puerto Rico. I'll bury that ass. I bury that because I speak Puerto Rico. I don't care about what you speak. I'll bury that ass. What do you mean I'll speak Puerto Rico? I'm better than Puerto Rico. You didn't hear him say, I'll bury that ass. 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 There. I did. I'll bury that ass. Dead ass. I'll bury their ass. I'll bury their ass. I'll bury the pussy. I'm not that. Got it on the chin? Yeah. Oh, it's fine. It's all right. I've done it before. Look. Somebody drop the old song. You know, the whole world has gone nuts. And quite frankly... There's only one man who can make things happen that, that will make things better in this country. And I support him for the United States Senator, Beetlejuice. <laughs> oh! Wondering who to vote for in the New York Senate? I'm Beetlejuice. That's right, Beetlejuice. A pint-sized, shrunken head black man with a vision. I want to get high with the woman and all this shit. I'm one badass man. I have a big head and a big penis. I must be your senator. Plus, I'm 87 years old. I'm seven foot tall. Well, I'm 268 pounds. His stance on abortion. I f all the women 25 hours a day, 11 days a week. I like abortion. It's real good. It makes me horny for all this. 
pictures. He has a great plan for a tax cut. I'll put in all the people in New York, a million dollars, and then they pay twenty-two dollars of taxes. Two states, deficit increases, and I can get late. His plan for the education system. Everybody go to school for forty-four years. And what does Beetlejuice have to say to Rick Lazio and Hillary Clinton? I bury that ass. Well, I beat the shit out of them assholes. They can beat me, but I will win because I'm smart and I well talk. And finally, how does Senate candidate Beetlejuice feel about drugs? I do drugs every day. Kids who do drugs. Faggots who do drugs. All bitches and whores. I should be doing some drugs. Support me and we give free drugs. Beetlejuice for Senate. Because we have a choice. Choose the black man with a little head. Brought to you by the friends of Beetlejuice and the Crackhead Bob Foundation. <laughs> Beetlejuice, baby. <laughs> Senator Beetlejuice. Right, Senator Beetlejuice. Somebody drop the old song. You out. Somebody help me out. <laughs> Here's a funny phone call from uh, the Touchstone Terrorist. Yeah, this is Willie. Can I help you? Oh, yeah, I would like to see. Is there a way I can find out which uh, date that I applied for a loan? You want to find out you, when you apply for your loan? Yeah, the date that I applied. You took out a loan with us? Yeah. Uh, look on your calendar. On my what? Look on your damn calendar. Why can't you look on your calendar? Well, what kind of fucking customer service representative you as hey, soon as you telling me to look at a calendar? Hey, don't be talking to me that way, bitch. I just asked you to tell you to look on your calendar. You don't know when the hell you took out your loan? What's your loan number? I'll look it up for you. None of your fucking business, you faggot ass hey, pig. Get, get that, that's why you're working in service. Sitting ass. on your fat, lazy, stinking, nasty hey, behind making $6 you an hour. You're kind of gibberish. You're just flapping in the wind. There you go. A little more love from the Touchstone Terrace CD. <clears throat> the new one's available October 3rd. And if you need information, one triple eight forty four prank Like those guys. Always very funny. What are you talking about? What do you need? Look on your calendar. Look on your calendar. <laughs> calendar. <Kiss> my <laughs> <laughs> Look on your calendar, you bitch. <laughs> I love that. By the way, uh, there is an alternate candidate for Senate, Beetlejuice. Uh. If you need more details on how to vote for Beetlejuice, go to uh, jollydwarf.com. They're actually putting together a whole grassroots campaign. They could have actually used Beetlejuice during that debate. Last That's time. right. Oh, he would have been great. <laughs> me? Oh, would have been great. Me? Who, me? <laughs> I'll take you on. Who, me? Who, me? Yeah, listen to me. Yeah, I'll listen to what you. What you're going to say is, just listen. Right. See, I'm about to go upstairs. Right. And get, and, and. I'll get and laid. No, listen, listen. I'm about to go upstairs and learn how to get laid. Right. That's all. That's all. Say, my name is Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Say, my name is, say, let me hear you say, my name is Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Say, my name is Beetlejuice. My name is Beetlejuice. And I'm going upstairs. I'm to going upstairs to, to get laid. To learn how to get laid. To learn how to get laid. That's all. My name is Beetlejuice. Okay. And I'm lo I'm going upstairs to learn how to get laid. Okay. Let's let me say that. Ready, right okay. Here. Right here. I learned how to go upstairs and get laid <laughs> in six months. Uh, Why did he repeat a simple sentence? I buried ass for f life. I don't date so pal. Yeah, that would have been a good debate. He's not even tough enough. Right. Hey. Hey. He can't even do nothing about it. Mm. Hey. I f his brother like she is in. in Elko, I f her like a fucking duck. Right. Hey, I'm a duck season. Hey, it's coming out of the price, duck season. Hey, I f her like a deer, but I f her like a duck. Hey, flags don't mean nothing, but the flag means you f all day long. Okay? Wow. Okay. My mother's not a whore, but my mother look like great, but she, she likes to f, but she had more kids than her. She got about 12 kids. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, got 12 trolls, hey no. to six kids. Hey, look at me. I'm a weightlifter. About... Hey, she look like a f I'm spreading her like a fucking bug. Yeah. Hey, the rats, they live in the rat hole. How's that sound? <laughs> Sounds good, <laughs> Mr. Senator. Right hole. Look at him. How's that sound? Sounds rats good. around the house. Oh, I'd love Who if he won. <laughs> if he could be the senator. Hey, hey. I make games for a living. I played a good job for a living. Me, bang, all the bitches. <laughs> oh, there's about 140 dirty. 
What? 140, 30. I'll f the girl for 30 seconds. And then I'm done. After that, then I go to the next one and I'll f the other one for, for 30 seconds. I'll bang this out of her like she ain't. Well, I'll tell you one thing about this guy. He hasn't had a facelift. <laughs> He's the real deal. That's right. What you see is what you get. All right. I'll bang her in the ass. Campaign, my kind of campaign is wow. New Jersey, Jersey City. That's my campaign. Me, I clean up the whole country. Dude. Hey, Billy Juice is coming, and he's coming fast. All right, vote for Billy Juice. Vote, vote for me. Vote hey, for you. Shut up, old man. I'm speaking. <laughs> Sorry. What else you got to say about that? I'm Billy Juice. What else you got shut to say about it? Shut your mouth. What you got to say about it? I got it? nothing to say. Well, I don't know what y'all two talking about, but. I know what I'm talking about. Right. But the old man don't know what the f he's talking about, so he ain't got nothing to say about it. If he got something to say about me, he well. gotta come up to me and say it's front of my face. Every tough guy. That's the way it's gotta be. Hey. Take a me. breath. Take a breath, dude. You got something to say. Talk to me straight up. Right. You must talking to me. You must talking to me. I'm the only one person here is Peter Juicy. You want to talk to me? All right. Enough. He don't shut up. He's a good wow. debater. He would win the debate. <laughs> wow. I don't even think he'd let those other two talk. <laughs> oh, man. Somebody drop down the zone. Can you talk to Beetlejuice in a few minutes? Yeah. He's. You know what? Some days he's really quiet. Today's not one of them. He's dressed up in a very strange outfit, and he's <coughs> all over the place today, talking to everyone, uh, grabbing women's asses. And we'll bring him in real quick. You, gotta, you have to see what he's wearing, Howard. All right. See this. What is it? You, let me be surprised. <coughs> Beetlejuice, uh, I asked him to stop by before he leaves to go shoot his next his new movie. I can't believe that yeah, he's uh, in a movie. A legitimate movie. What he, do you mean by that? I'll, I'll ask him. <laughs> Supposedly he plays a pinhead, which is, is, is funny. Typecast. That's a stretch. But he really is going to be in a legitimate film, not, not some you know porno that he's usually in. All right. And he's also released a new record, and he's campaigning for Senate. The guy's got a whole, he's a whole industry. I didn't know that he was going to take off like this. He's going to med school. Too. Yeah. There he is. Wow, look at him. Oh he, he's never looked better. Wow. You've never looked better. <laughs> you look great. Hello. Come on in, Beetlejuice. Where is Beetlejuice, come on in. Beetle, come on. He's staring at Robbie. He's staring at down. Beetlejuice is dressed in army fatigues with a weightlifting belt and green paint all over his face. Yeah, it's that camouflage stuff. <gasps> Beetlejuice, like Madonna, you've always changed your image. Uh, reinvent himself. You always reinvent yourself. What does this outfit mean? Tell us. Well, I'm from Vietnam, brother. Vietnam. You're a vet? You weren't able to serve in Vietnam, of course. Don't they have a height requirement? Yeah. You never were really in Vietnam. They have a height requirement. Yeah. You were there. Yeah. You were? Yeah. Peter you're wearing a weightlifting belt. Your fatigues are open to your belly button. Yeah, he's showing yeah. his chest. He's showing a lot of chest. Is this, yeah. is this you, the sex symbol now? Yeah. It is. Are the women after you? Plenty of times, yeah. <laughs> yep. Right on the streets, yeah. Yeah, you look great. That's your look. Yeah, they do. That's a good look for you. I like that better than the Superman costume. <laughs> it, works, it, works. it works for you. It makes you look tough. I, I wouldn't tough. mess with him. What? I'm this tough. You is tough. Okay. <laughs> he's the size of a landmine. He's, he's, I'm a charger. That's why. You're dynamite on wheels. You having trouble with those headphones, my brother? Me? Nah. <laughs> No, they're falling off your ears, the headphones. Okay. Well, look at that. All right. Casey, help the brother out. We can't find out. a pair of headphones. I'll peel juice out. My head's too big anyway. Yeah. yeah Go ahead. There it is. All right. <laughs> is that my size 25, baby. Size 25 headphones? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, we'll try and keep those things on you. Peter Juice, uh, so much to ask you about in such little time. Uh, first of all, this film that you're going to be doing. What's it called? Yeah. Huh? Well, all right. Give us the deep. What is the movie called? Well, they called, uh. Whatever they want to call it. I see. You don't know the name of the movie you're doing? Me? Yeah. Oh, uh, they call it. Something you don't want to know. Something you don't want to know. Is this a legitimate movie or a porno movie? It's a porno movie. Oh, it's a oh, porno. Oh, see? No, no. It's you not a case. You know what? It's a porno movie. I don't think he knows what he's talking about. No, it's, not, it's not a porno movie. It's, it's yeah, a, it's yes, not, it is. No, it's actually like a real movie. No, I talked to the guy yesterday. Movie, Beat his ass. I, made, I just made an action movie. A porno movie is an action movie. 
No, okay, okay, well, if he says so. It's porno action. I told you, the casting director. You talk to the casting director. It's a legitimate it's film. It's a legitimate movie, right. From Josie a major is gonna be studio? In Wait a second. Yeah. They're saying, wait a second, Beetlejuice, we're hearing that for once it's not a porno movie, that it's going to be a real movie. It is. It is a real movie. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Now we're getting to it. What do you play in the new movie? Movie, uh, a pimp. A pimp? A pimp. Right. Are you sure? Yeah. It, and just, it just came out. Because they told us you play a pinhead. Yeah. Yeah. That's got the tape for you. You do. Wait a minute. Yeah. You, right. You're going to shoot the movie. You don't have a tape. Yeah, I got I got the video. I got the uh, soundtrack for it. Soundtrack, yeah. Oh, now, sound that leads us into a Beetlejuice has just cut a new song. Okay. I was going to ask him about I the movie. I'm a, a rapper, honey. I'm a rapper. Oh, I didn't know that. He is a rapper. <laughs> I'm going to wrap him up and throw him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Beetlejuice. I'm serious. I'm Miz. I'm Miz a rapper. I know you are. I know you I'm are. I'm Miz. I'm Miz. All right. <laughs> so, the movie, how did you get chosen for this film? This is a big break for you. This is a real movie. Wow. This is not a. This is not some porno. It's a real movie. Yeah, it is. Okay. Are you going to Hollywood? Yeah. All right. When are you flying right out? After this, I'm leaving. A right lot after of your, this. Are you going to be at the airport? Yeah. A lot right of your, now. a lot of your fans are going to want to see you. How can yeah. they? How can they send you off to uh, L.A.? Uh. We had about the uh, California right now. You are. This is going to be it. Yeah. Uh -oh. You're leaving from which airport? Uh, one thirty. One thirty is the time. Yeah. And you'll be on the plane. Yeah. Where's that? Laguardia or Kennedy? Uh, it's got to be uh, Hawaii. Hawaii. California is on. It's on the beach, though. Uh, all right. So one of the airports will be uh, will be where you'll be. Right. All right. Are you flying out of Newark? Yeah, oh, California, no. right on the beach, honey. Okay. All right. <laughs> California Beach, baby. All right. So you're going to get there. Let me understand. Are you going to sunbathe when you go to California? Me? Nah. <laughs> I might sunbathe, but I'll be with my wife sunbathing. I see. All right. Your wife? Right. You have a wife now? Yeah. You didn't get married. You're a playboy. Me? Yeah. I got married three years ago. Did you really? Yeah. I don't. I. I never heard What's of a wife. What's your wife's name? Huh? What's your wife's name? Katie. Katie. Right. Katie Juice. That's <laughs> right. Katie Juice. How many kids? Howard, he just asked me two minutes huh? ago if I wanted to go to his bachelor party. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I'll buy him to my bachelor party. Amen. You. All right. Listen to me, because uh, this is exciting news. I'm very excited for you. Everyone, well, the whole town is talking about Beetlejuice. Buzz. Wait a minute. You're going to get on a plane and go to California. Right. All right. You're you say your wife is going with you? She must be here. She is here. She's not, she's here. She's not here right now, but I'm getting ready to go pick up 15 minutes. Oh, I right. Okay. Katie Juice. <laughs> <laughs> You're Beetlejuice. Katie Juice. And there's Katie Juice. Right. Right. And all the Juice kids. Mrs. Juice. Right. Mrs. Juice. <laughs> I don't think he's got a wife. I don't think so. Either. But anyway, you're stupid. Peter Juice. <laughs> I got a wife. Don't worry, I got it. All right, you're gonna go on the plane, and you're gonna go to California, and you're gonna make this movie. Are they putting you up in a hotel? Yeah. They are. On the beach. On the beach. All right, on the beach in California. Right. Right. And how many days will you be there? I want to just understand uh, your itinerary. Like twenty-five days. Twenty-five days. Do you have the script? Yeah. Have you memorized your lines? I always memorize my lines. Would you honor us by doing a scene from the movie? Say something from the movie. From the movie? Yeah. Drive by. Drive by. All right. There you go. There's right. a line. Now, you say you have a wife, right? Yeah. What is a wife? Well, my wife... What is a wife? What do they mean by well, the word wife? I've been married for 15 years. All right. All right. Now, Beetlejuice has put together... How a... much is he getting for this? Movie. Me? Yeah. Over $1,000. Is that right? Over 1000 Wow. Will you give us a specific? Yeah, I'll give you like three or four. All right. Five or six. All right, you're saying you're making over 1000 Yeah. Are you making over 10000 Over 10000 You are. Uh, over 50000 Yeah. You are. Uh, this is million? big money. Over got, a million? I already got 2,000 people already. 2,000 people for what? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got a studio. Over 2,000 studios. All right, listen to me. You're saying you're getting paid over $1 million? Yeah. You are. Is that yeah. the truth? Yeah. You're making over a $1 million on this yeah. film. You are unbelievable. You know you're bigger than Stephen Baldwin? Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's get to this exciting news. 
the rap song, right? I heard actually, and this is the truth, he's getting 30000 for the movie. Is that right? Seriously. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice money. Yeah. That's nice money. You're, you're on easy street. Is right. this a major studio, Casey? Yeah, it's, uh, what I've heard, it's Touchstone Pictures. Wow. Wow. Who's the director? Uh, I don't know. I don't I know. Have you met with the director yet? Yeah. I met him in, in California. You did? Yeah. So you've been out there already? Yeah. Because some of this is true, by the way. Yeah, but I can't tell what. You can't tell which part. <laughs> so you don't know if he's really been in California or what? You really went to California? Yeah, South Carolina, bro. South, South Carolina, Carolina, California. All right. All right, then it must be true. <laughs> the more you ask, the less we know. <laughs> he calls me up every time he wants to. And what's his name? Uh, Charlie Droves. Who? Charlie Droves? Yeah. That's the director? Yeah. All right. What I never heard of he him. What have done? What well, other I've movies? I've call it a while. Has he done any other movies? Yeah. What movie? Uh, Exxon. Exxon? Yeah. Yeah, color purple. Yeah, <laughs> color purple. Yeah. He did the color purple. This guy. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Did he do extraterrestrial ET? Yeah. He and did. Jurassic yeah. Park. That's yeah. the same guy, Charlie Jurassic Dribble. Jurassic Park. Yeah. Jurassic Park. <laughs> he, paints, <laughs> he paints with the color purple. <laughs> yeah, he did. Do you? I see. Well, will you have love scenes? Yeah, I had to like what basketball. Yeah. Love scene. Love scene. All right. Listen, this is exciting. Not only is Beetlejuice uh, doing film, he's now recording. And he did this for the movie? I believe so. Now, this song you did for the movie? Yeah. All right. <laughs> do they know you did this for the movie? <laughs> yeah, they did it. Yeah. They did it. They did it. Did you, you said you wrote this. I heard you in the hall. Yeah, I did wrote it. You wrote this? Yeah. All right. Here we go. This is the first time I've ever heard Beetlejuice sing. Yes. I wrote this since I was, since I was about... Since I was 12 years old. You've been writing? Yeah. All right. Here we go. I bet you, baby. Me? Can you dance? Me? Me? Yeah. yeah, I just wrote this. Did you just wrote it, but you don't dance to this? Nah, I just wrote this. Oh, you should dance. dance. Yeah, all the rappers dance. dance. I wrote this all by, by, by boys. Do you want to dance to this while we play it? Nah, I no? wrote this by boys. All right, here we go. Here comes the major standing three foot tall. Pissed off black man, head two inch small. Yeah, he packs fat cash and he can't even count. I mean, you was baby. That's what talking about. That's what? That's me in the background. Really? No. Yeah. Really? Is that you? <laughs> yeah. I would never have guessed. I was certain and he's packing mad laughs. He loves all the bitches and the hoes don't know the half. And this is his theme song, yeah, what's up? Better get to the chorus, cause he's about to throw up. That is the sound of you throwing up. Uh. Making me, make what? believe I did that. It's you making believe you did that. Yeah. You know you're the new Puff Daddy? <laughs> what an I'm actor. Puff Daddy. What is that? That means to me, Puff Daddy. Puff Daddy. Yeah. Your pint size daddy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm in the next part after that, too. You're in the next part. Yeah. All right. I feel you, baby. 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 Well, you are on your way, aren't you? Yeah. Now, this were you great. in the studio mixing this? Yeah. Well, you you are really something. I want to congratulate you, Beetle Juice, on your film career. And how's it going? Are you still running for Senate, or are you not going to have time? No, I still want for Senate. You are? I still want. All right, there it is. And, and you still got your wrestling? Yeah. Oh, you're on the wrestling? Yeah, I still got too much. You got too much on your plate. Do you have time for fun? Fun? No, nah, this is going to be for real, though. Yeah. But you must be raking in the cash with all these jobs. <laughs> Me? I'm going to kill this guy in one hour. Really? Yeah. You're going to kill somebody? No, I mean, I'm, I'm arresting the guy at all. All right. You know? All right, listen, Beetlejuice, you are on your way. I don't want to hold you up. I know you got to go to California <laughs> for the beach in South Carolina. I'm glad you stopped by to say way, goodbye. That's where I'm on my way right now. You are. Well, right I, I hope to see you soon. Wish we could go with you. Yeah. You I wish you could go with me, but 
He's got to bring Katie juice. <laughs> Katie juice is yeah, waiting. Yeah, but my wife's going to be with me in a way, you know. Right. Uh-huh. Let's go to Troy, who wants to talk to Beetle Juice before he leaves for California. Go ahead, Troy. Katie juice. What? I can't hear you. It's Katie Juice. Fly, Katie, oh, Katie Juice. <laughs> yes. Is this your wife, Katie Juice? Yeah, put my wife on, dude. <laughs> Let's go to Rob. Rob, go ahead. I want to issue uh, an open challenge to Beetlejuice. How he's talking so much crap about how he's running for Senate and he'll ask people up. I challenge him to a wrestling match. He wants to fight you. Yeah, you want to fight me? On my knees Tell with my hands tied behind my back. If you want to wrestle me, don't talk to a tough guy. Because I will kill you in an hour. Look at you, you had to touch my peanut. Peanut? Come and rest me and see how tough you are. Yeah, I'll come down there right I'll now. Take, I'll take more things than you never had in your life. Buddy. I'll come down there right now. I'll take your life away from you. Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> He's his, Beetlejuice, all right? He's Beetlejuice. Yes. You'll take his life away from him, right? Pussy. Oh, you call Beetlejuice a pussy? All right. All right. Don't curse words. You couldn't get your penis wet. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say, buddy. <laughs> Whatever you say, buddy. More bigger. So you're backing down? Is that what you're saying? That's right. Pussy. Yeah, if I'm a pussy, I'll come you talk so junk. Right. All right. Well, that that was not a pleasant oh, phone no. call. No. Yeah. I could win a prize? No. Please? You've insulted Beetlejuice. Hey, if you need more Beetlejuice information, go to jollydwarf.com. He'll be in a new movie called Bubble Boy. That's the name of the ah. movie. Bubble Boy. Now, if, if Beetlejuice is going to be such a big star, he's going to have to give up that dwarf tossing and all that. Are you going to stop the dwarf tossing? Yeah. You are? Yeah. I already did. You're no. done with it. Oh, see? I'm done with it. Yeah, you listen, that's, that was your way of coming up. It but now a stage. I'm done with it. But I'm into wrestling right now. If you want to be a tough guy, hey, I'll put you in a situation, buddy. You won't be able to get out of it. <laughs> I'm amazed. He'll kick your ass, <laughs> Robin. Howard, right, you can get on that on Beetlejuice's site, and you can register to vote on that. Oh, for the Senate. For the Senate, yeah. You can write. Yeah. You can write in Beetlejuice. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Maggie, who is a fan of Beetlejuice. I guess. Are you a fan? Um, no, actually, um, the voice sounds very familiar, and I believe that that he or she has been on Jerry Springer like three or four times, trying to get married, pretending to be a woman. Everything, and I think it's just totally bogus. I mean, if everything is true, then that's wonderful, but is it like a little Let me me address Beetlejuice now. Beetlejuice, is this woman right? Are you bogus? Yeah, I'm bogus. What? You are bogus. All right. Yes, you're right, ma'am. He's bogus. Yeah, he's really, he or she is really cute because I've seen him or her on Jerry Springer have you done, have Have you been on Jerry Springer, Beetlejuice? Yeah, I've been there pretty much. That's what pretty women. Like, yeah, he mom. told a woman that he was a man, and I'm then told her on the baby. show that he was a woman right before they got married. It was crazy. Did you go on Jerry Springer and claim to be a woman? Oh, me? No. You dress like a woman? No. You, you, she's saying you dress like a woman. You gonna oh. take that? I can't dress like a woman. I'm a real man, honey. No, no, Howard, get him to drop it and show you. I'm a real woman, baby. I'm a no. real man, baby. No. I'm a real man. I don't believe it. Call I'm a real Jerry, man, I don't baby. believe it. I'm a real Howard, man like Howard. you, baby. You're a woman, be a woman. Howard. You be a woman, I take Howard, it like yes, a man. I'm, I'm a real I'm man, a man, baby. Woman. You I am a woman. Me, baby? Be a woman, woman. Uh, right. I've seen his penis. He's a man. Oh. Really? Yeah. I saw it at the bachelor party, Doug Goodstein's bachelor party. Oh, well, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Actually, you know, I can't, I can't see. I'll have to watch your show tonight, 11 he's only, he's only three feet tall. Yeah, and I'm telling you, call I'll Larry Springer. You, he's, he's both. You weigh more than her? Yeah, right. Yeah. Hi. Right. He weighs more than you. <laughs> All right, you know, you know this is this guy is the real deal. Trust uh, me. Been accused of a lot of things. Yeah. Wait, not that. <laughs> not that. You've never been accused of being a woman before. That's crazy. <laughs> You're all man, right? He or no. she? I'm all man. Bro. You're all man. I think we got another movie. <laughs> Are you all woman? Me? I'm an all man. I'm all right. a real man. I take it like a real man. You do. Oh, what do you yeah. take? Oh. What do you take? Oh. What do you mean? I walk like a man, a real man. Right. I wouldn't mess with you. <laughs> He'll put you in a situation. Right. Well, this has been unbelievable. Let's go to Rob. One final phone call. Yeah. Um, 
Beetlejuice is the biggest pussy alive. Why, did you fight him? No, I didn't, but he's the biggest pussy. Why do you say that? Because he's a little black, crispy nigger. Oh, oh boy. Well, if I'm a crusty nigger, how come you can't fight me, damn That's why I banged your mother last night, so I wouldn't be talking. If you keep talking, I'll, run. I'll, I'll, put you, I'll put you down, brother. Shut up before I come over there and rape you. Yeah, you gonna... I'll beat your ass, you know that. <laughs> You're going to rape Beetlejuice? Oh, it is, yeah. <laughs> oh, guys, you're killing me with that. Goodness. All right. You better think straight. You better think straight. You better straighten up. I have one final call from the great Beetlejuice before he goes off. Hello? Uh, yes, Ann, go ahead. I just want to say that I saw that thing on Jerry Springer, too, and it's a woman. Beetlejuice. You're a woman? Yeah, it, that thing is a woman. Beetlejuice is a woman? Wow. Yes, it's a woman. Wait it's a woman. Where do you see a woman? It's a woman. I saw it on Jerry Springer. It's a woman, honey. It's, it's a woman. It's this a midget little woman. a real man woman. right here, baby. It's a woman. No, Don't believe it. It's a real man right here. Don't believe him. It's a woman. Words on the radio, Beetlejuice. Do you know you're on the radio, <laughs> She don't like it? That's too bad. All right, now, Beetlejuice. Now, did you dress up like a woman? Me? No, I dressed no, up like a man, No, I think they have them confused with somebody really? else. Really? Yeah, okay. They I'm do. I'm a real man. Beetlejuice hasn't been on there. Eric, you looks just like him. Right, Eric, you're on the air. <laughs> Maybe somebody hey. else. Yeah, well, go ahead quickly. Uh, uh, listen up, Beetlejuice. Well, like, what makes you so weird? Like, deep down on the inside. Like, what's the deal with all that, man? You're a cool Me? cat, but, yeah. <laughs> I've been real bad. You're real bad. I'm a real man, yeah. Are you going to throw up, Peter? <laughs> you <Yeah>, like... <laughs> nah, my A real man. Like, I'm no no man. drugs or nothing? I'm a real man, bro. Are you no. doing any drugs? Me? Never. Never no. do drugs? Never. Pot? Never. You don't smoke weed? Never. Ecstasy? Jesus. Me? <laughs> Twice a week. Twice, Twice a week? <laughs> Cocaine? Me? Never. Never. Twice a week? Twice a week? Only one week. That's it. That's he it. He did it once. Once. <laughs> you. I did it once. That's Heroin? It. Heroin? Never. <laughs> one time, though. Only one time, that was it. (laughs) 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 All right, uh, listen, I got to move along. Thank you, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, go see him on JollyDwarf.com. Beetlejuice, I'm so happy about the new film. Congratulations. Bubble Boy, which is going to be a huge hit for you. $30,000. You're on your way. You're on your way. Yeah, I'm on my way. Congratulations on your music and your wrestling and everything else that you do. Thank, Thank you. you, Beetlejuice. Thank you, Howard. Thank you. Hello Thank you. Katie Juice. Wow. Thank you. And say hello to Katie Juice. You know Have who a she good is? Time. You know who Katie yeah, Juice is. Yeah. 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 Wife. Your wife. Right. Okay. Whoa. There he goes. He's dressed in green oh paint. Goodness. Is wow. he going on the plane wow. like this? Yeah. Are you going to go on the plane like that, Beetlejuice, dressed that way? Wow. Ah, I'm right you can drive regular. <laughs> Look at the, the hat and everything. He's got an army hat. Combat hat. He's got a combat. He's combat ready. He's going to sneak on the plane. <laughs> I'm a sergeant. He's a sergeant. He's screaming he's a sergeant. Sergeant Beetlejuice. Sergeant Beetlejuice. <laughs> How does he top himself every time? Yeah, he's great. He's a great star. Wait a second. He's coming back. He's got something to say. He, he made you a pumpkin. He wants to give it to you. You made it out of a honeydew melon? No kidding. <laughs> Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Beetlejuice. Thank you. He carved a honeydew melon. Did he do that himself? Usually it's supposed to be a pumpkin. (laughs) (laughs) Pumpkins are orange, Beetlejuice. (laughs) He says he's a sergeant. (laughs) Sergeant Beetlejuice. (laughs) That pumpkin's more handsome than him. (laughs) It's got a bigger head. It's got a bigger head. I was just thinking. And it's a melon. Casey, get it out of here. It's, 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 it's dripping all over the, the, my bag. My bag. What's the matter with you? It's electronic equipment. Again, come on, he's a sergeant. Yeah. <laughs> right, I got to take Don't a break. Paul Fishbein's coming in next. We're going to give away a trip to Porn Awards, which is a whole big deal. Next week, Porn Aween, where you can actually have <laughs> the beautiful Leanna Hart. SexyLiana.com is where you can see her, SexyLiana.com. And uh, that's going to be big. That is big news. Someone's going to just get a porn star just by finding her. We'll be back right after these words. As a flag is thrown, two flags, in fact, after the kick. Hey, flags don't mean nothing.
nothing but flag me all day long. Second and 11. I don't date so pal. From the 35 yard line. New offensive coordinator Charlie Weiss about the offense that uh, Bishop might run tonight. <laughs> He's looking at the right hole. Look at him. So we're expecting we might see a quarterback draw from Bishop. Third down and ten. Charlie Weiss for so many years on Bill Parcells' staff. So I don't know what y'all two talking about, but I know what I'm talking about. Somebody drop down the zone. Beetlejuice is a star. He, uh, oh, I guess he's not there anymore. Beetlejuice got busy. Guys, Beetlejuice there or not? Hmm. I, I don't have time. I have limited time today. I have to leave here quickly. Please. Don't hold him up. The, right. What is it? Is Beetlejuice gone? He's there during the commercial. John's getting him back up right now. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Perfect plan. Beetlejuice. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hi, I just wanted yeah. to, I want to say hello because uh, out of all the guys that we have on the show, you are achieving tremendous success. Yeah, right. Oh, no, I'm serious. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, don't say a dirty uh, word. Uh, I don't care. Beetlejuice, what's happening? You sound all depressed. You sound sad. Beetlejuice? I'm so sad. That's you, what I look like. Are you sad because you're away from home? Damn right. You see, I told you he's sad. Why are you staying out there for the movie? Why don't you just come home? Do you want to quit the film? Are you? Are you? Do you want to quit the film? Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice? What? Do you want to quit the film? It takes too long for me, man. It takes too long. So yeah. you want to come home? They say that about acting. They say, hurry up and wait. They, that was they, one of the hardest things for us, even. They, <laughs> don't, I don't care. Don't, please don't he curse. doesn't care how. Don't curse. I'm your I friend. Curse. I'm your friend. I'm your friend. He does not care. Beetlejuice is upset, I think, with the movie process because he's been out in California a long time. I've been um, trying to do it all day. Yeah. Beetlejuice. I don't think they told him what this was going to be like. Did you realize it was going to be so long? I've been, I've been here for over two years, dude. I know. It seems like two years that you've been there. You're in a major motion picture. I saw some of the footage. It's a very grueling process. Are you going to be able to make it? I've been doing it for two years, honey. When, how, when are they going to let you go? I don't know yet. Who do you miss? Is, are you missing just your, your mom and, and your sister? Yeah. I see. And isn't your, your manager, Sean, there with you? He's there. He's sitting down right now. Let me talk to him for a second. Can let me, he bring his mom and his sister out? There? Let me let me see what I can arrange. No, you ain't got speak to speak to me. Uh, do you want, maybe he could get your mom and your sister out there in Hollywood. Shut up. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me. Maybe they could get your mom and your sister out there. I. Wouldn't that make you feel better? It makes me feel better. Yeah, who, yeah. Are, who are you missing? I mean, what, what, what's so great at home that you're missing home? I'm missing home. I've been working all day. I see. And do, and, and do they put you up in a hotel, right? Yeah. I'm and, here. Are they feeding you? Yeah. I'm doing great things, yeah. Are you going out there? Are you partying at all? You, you, you I'm drink? partying. You are? So, so... But that doesn't matter. It doesn't sound so bad. It doesn't sound that Do bad. Do they get you up early? Yeah. Is that the problem? No, no, no. I get up like 6 o'clock in the daytime. You do. And you get up and you work on the movie? I would think being in a movie yeah, is exciting. Yeah, I'm still working on the movie. It sounds yeah. exciting, though, to be in a movie. Yeah, I still got on the movie. Yeah, I still got to work on it. Yeah. Aren't you going to be excited when you see the final product, when you go to the premiere? No, nah, I'm not doing the play. I'm doing something else. You're doing something else. All right. But you like movies, right? Huh? You like movies? Once in a while. Yeah. Once in a while. It's not a big deal. He's not, he doesn't, you don't care about being a movie star, do you? Me? Nah. No. 
Listen, when you're up on that screen, you're going to be three feet tall. <laughs> I'm already tall. I know. And you're going to be even taller. You're going to be on the big screen. Everybody wants that. So how much more time do you need to shoot? I mean, how much longer are they going to... Uh, I've got about six more days to do it. Wow. Six more days. You're going to make yeah. it, though, right? No, I still got more things to do, though. Yeah. yeah and... I, still got, I still got a lot of things to do, but... Yeah, and what is what is the name of the movie so we can look for it? Uh, Bubble Boy. Bubble, Bubble Boy. Boy. And are you Bubble Boy? No, I'll be the next Bubble Boy. All right. There's a sequel already, planned. <laughs> yeah, it's coming in two more weeks. Yeah, ask Sean what the movie studio name is. It's a big studio, isn't it? No, I got the studio. Don't worry about what it. Is I the, got that. What is the name of the studio? Uh, Try One. Try One? Yeah. I think it's Tri Star or something. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, it's Try One. It's, 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 one. it's the movie. Well, I got a different guy right now. All right. So Beetlejuice is upset. I could tell when they interviewed you that you were upset. Uh, he wants to yeah, get home. Yeah, they even asked him to say something to you, and he didn't even want to talk to you. Uh, yeah, I don't blame him. He seems very shook up. But you're going to be okay. You're not going to. You're going to go through with it, and you're going to finish the movie. Yeah, I had to uh, because I had to. I had two different strip right now. No. Hey, Beetlejuice, I didn't know you smoked cigarettes. Oh yeah, he is a. Yeah. Hero. You want me to smoke one? I smoke one. That's for you. Yeah, he's got. He's got a big habit. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. And you got and and they're treating you well, but it's just you're homesick, I guess. No, I'm not homesick, but I'm just thinking too much. You know what I mean? Yeah. Thinking too much. Yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking. What are you, you thinking know? about? Yeah. What what kind uh, of thoughts are you having? No, uh, you... I have to do something else right now. I have to do the start right now. You're starting the filming right now? No, like after this, I have to do another stunt. All right, are you, make, are you meeting any beautiful girls out there? Is there any girls in the well, movie? Well, they are all right, Bob. I'm just doing my stunt. Yeah, you're, you know not, you, I mean? you're not getting laid? Well, I'm getting laid, but, you know, but, you know, it takes me an hour to do that. Mm -hmm. All right, listen, uh, so no stank on your hang low. All right, Beetlejuice, listen, uh, thank you for the exclusive interview. Uh, we look forward to seeing the film, and, and please, as soon as you get back, come into our studios. Yeah, I will, but, you know... Just give me plenty time, all right? I understand. Right. Give me plenty time to get over there. All right, thank you. All right? All right, that's the great Beetlejuice. Yeah, you're all right with me, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm down with you. No, I'm talking to you because you know, you know what I'm saying. Well, I know everybody wants to interview you. I know that uh, now you're about to be a... Yeah, become... but I tell you guy, he got to back off because uh, the other day, he was out the... Yesterday, he was by the train yesterday, and I'm trying to do the interview, but he was in the way right now. Yeah. But he can't be in the way. That's right. right. You work. You know what I mean? While well, I'm doing I'm... the movie, he can't be in the way. I know Tom Cruise gets very uh, upset when photographers are around when he does his films. Yeah, but he can't He can't be over there when I'm doing things. See what uh, happens to these thinking, guys? But he, can't, he can't mess me up. All right. Well, there must be something to it if Beetlejuice doesn't want to be interviewed during the filming. Uh, I guess you're in you character. Know what I think he's saying. You know, what? Because I'm doing things right now. He can't be mess me up. But he's you know, not trying to the guy was getting pissed. But you know, right? You he's... know, the guy was want him to stay back. He didn't back while up. While we doing the movie, but he can't. He can't be in the way. He can't be you in the way. You know what I mean? Yeah. He can't distract Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is trying to think about what he has to do. Yeah, it's yeah, a, it's I'm a lot. Trying to think, but he can't be in the way though. It's a lot of pressure. Yeah, I had a lot of pressure yesterday, and I, I was talking to the guy, you know. Well, I'll tell you, I... Uh, but the director, you know, he's trying to do his thing, you know, and we're trying to direct, you know what I mean? Ah. But he can't, just can't be in the way. Well, I'll tell you, there was a famous actress who used to say, I vaunt to be alone. Yeah, because the actress was with me, but they just can't be in the way while I'm doing the action mm. with her. I understand. You know and, what and I mean? I understand. Because yeah, I had, like, two buses... See, but I had a bus there, but he just can't be in the way. Yeah, and you had a lot of lines. You no, know, I do that. Yeah. But if I'm doing with the, with the game with the bikers, but he just can't be in the way. All right, well, I, I'm going to inform mean? him. Yeah, I, I understand that. That's uh, Doug That's or Gandy. That's legitimate. You can ask that. All right, uh, I'll take care of it, Beetlejuice. You know what I mean? All right, we're just trying to we're just trying to get the publicity going. That's all. That's what I want to do. That's what I want right. to do. All right. Okay. You know okay. What I mean? Got That's it. what I want. All right. Thanks, Beetle. Go back. Can't be in the way. Uh, it will be taken care of. All uh, right. All right. Thank you, Beetlejuice. All uh, right. Thank you. Thank you all. Have a start. Thank you. Well, I'll take care of this, but if you see him, 
Tony, stay out of my way. Bro. I understand. If you get in my way, I'm going to break his camera. Okay, uh, understood. All right. Thank you. See, that happens all uh, the time. Much like Sean Penn. All the time. They act no, Tom I'll Cruise. take care of this myself. Yeah, I know. Like Sean Penn or Tom Cruise, you will no. handle it. You'll handle no. it. I just want to take care of this myself. All right, maybe I should play the tape of what happened the other day so people. Yeah. Know. All right, let me play, play it. And I'm gonna take care of this guy. All right, let me play it right now, and maybe we can uh, listen in. Let, let's hear. You this is to. this is what happened the other day. Beetlejuice, uh, very annoyed by the cameraman. Here, here we go. What are you doing here today? What I'm doing here today? What do you mean? What I'm doing here today? What, what? Working. What do you think I'm doing? What's going on? What what are, you, what are you working on? What are you doing? You want? I don't know. What are you asking me for? I ain't got nothing to do with this. Why is you asking me all this question? What movie are you in? Why are you asking me what movie I'm in? I'm Bubble Boy. Bubble Boy's movie. Why? Why is you asking that? We're just, we're just curious. We're just curious. Tell, what's, well, tell me about the movie. What's this movie about? I don't know. I don't know. You gotta ask them. I don't know. Do you know? You know what your scenes about? Your character? I don't know. I don't got nothing to do with this. I ain't got nothing to do with the character. What? What's your character's name? What? Do you know your character's name in the movie? I don't know. You gotta ask them. I don't know. You gotta ask these guys. I don't know. No, no. Right. What does it say in the back of your chair there? Well, this is not my chair. Actually, that that's your chair. We got your own. Actually, this, this own is not my chair. chair. That's your own personal chair. Dude. This is not my chair. It's your chair. Whoever well, told you that this is not my chair. What does it say on the back of that chair? This chair? Yeah. It's not my chair. What, what, what does it say? It says Pinhead. They say that's the name of your character. Well, they ain't mine. Do you, do, you, do you know anything about your character? Can you tell me about I don't know. Character? I don't know. That's them. I don't know. They don't want the director's that's doing this. I ain't got nothing to do with this. Do you have a message for Howard? I don't know. You have no, nothing, to, nothing to say to Howard? Nope. So, Beetle. Tell me about your experiences here in L.A. so far, you know? I don't know nothing about L.A. I don't even know. Have you partied? Have you met anybody interesting? Have you seen anything new? Never. <laughs> what, what does L.A. stand for? I don't know. Would you like to thank Howard for getting you discovered? Discovered for by who? What do I need to be discovered for? <laughs> Otherwise, you wouldn't be on this movie, Beat. <laughs> who cares? All right, Beetle, that's what happened. I guess that's what annoyed you, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, that's... That's what the problem is. You can't, I, this can't be in the way. Well, you know, everybody's excited about you being in the movie, and we're all just trying to get a little piece of you. That's all. We weren't Don't forget to... to JollyDwarf.com. Don't forget about that. What? JollyDwarf.com, yes. All right. All right, Beetle, just thank you. All right. Bye. I'm just going to do this movie for you, because I got something to do right now. You don't I have to, I'm on my track and duty right now. Yeah, you don't have to do it for me. I, I'm not. I don't. I don't own any of that movie. Well, that movie got nothing. Well, to, well, my manager uh, Sean Sean Wooley had nothing. Got nothing to do with this. But yeah, know. I got nothing to do with the movie. I, I, that's no, not, he ain't got nothing to do with the movie. All right. All right. I don't know if you two are talking about the same. Well, uh, I'm doing things for these people, but these people want me to do something. All right. Good luck, Beetlejuice. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll see you when you get back. Okay. All right, take care. That's Thank you. Thank you. That's Thank you very much for doing things for me, Harris. Uh, no problem. Well, I love you, Thank but you. I'm going to have to do things for you, but I got something for you, but don't think about it. All right. Thank you, Beetle. If you got, some, if you got, if you got anything for me, if you got ladies for me, I got something for them. To, they got something to do. All right. Thank you, Beetlejuice. Just call me, and I, I got something for them. All right. Thank you, Beetlejuice. All right. right Bye-bye. Thanks a lot, pal. Right. You're all right with me, bro. You're all right with me, too. See you later, baby. See you later, baby. Hasta la vista. I'm talking to the girl. Right. All right. That's Beetlejuice. You can laugh all you want, but the guy does not want to be bothered on the set. He's like Tom Cruise. He does not like photographers. Don't disturb him while he's working. Man. That's what all those actors sound like. Yeah. I didn't realize it was that difficult. Yeah. <clears throat> Don't disrupt the activities. Somebody drop down the zone. The Beetlejuice is trying to cut a little something for us. They just need him to cut one line. And we are going to have that jeopardy between... Uh... Beetlejuice and Gary the Retard, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, All right. Let's listen to Beetlejuice. All right.
Say, Howard Stern, this is Beetlejuice. I'm calling you from California. And that's it. Well, Howard Stern, I called you from, uh, from California. I'll call you back later. <laughs> say, say, this is Beetlejuice. This is Beetlejuice, and I'll call you back. I got a lot of things to take care of. Right. I'll call you back. On my CB. Just listen to the frustration. On my CB. Listen to the frustration in this producer's <laughs> voice, and it, it amazes me that he kept trying and trying. At some point, you realize Beetlejuice is not going to get this right. Am I walking talking? I'll call you back. Hey, just listen to me real quick. Real simple. This is Beetlejuice, and I'm calling Howard Stern from California. Well, I call from Howard Stern in California. He called me back in 15 minutes. Say, this is Beetlejuice. This is Beetlejuice. I'll call you back. This is Beetlejuice, and I'm calling Howard Stern. I'm calling Howard Stern, and I'll call you up. I'm calling from California, and I'll call you back. Just give me a call when you're ready. How's that? And just be, just listen to me real quick. Be nice and simple. Say, this is Beetlejuice, and I'm calling Howard Stern from California. This is oh. Beetlejuice, and I'm calling uh, Howard Stern from California. Oh, uh, I just said that. I said it say? twice. Say it I just said it twice. I need one more. Just, just a, uh, that's what you want to say. Well, well, this is Beetlejuice. I'll call you back 10 <laughs> When you there, when you there, um, if I'm on, if I'm on something else, just call me back. Fifteen minutes. I say this is Beetlejuice. This is Beetlejuice. I call you back. <laughs> this is Beetlejuice. I'm calling from California. I'm calling back from California, and I call you back. Fifteen minutes. I say this is Beetlejuice, and I'm in California. This is Beetlejuice, and I'm in California. Just call me back. <laughs> just give me a call. One more like that. This is Beetlejuice. This is Beetlejuice. Like, give me a call back in California. I'll be right back. Just give me a call on my CD. This is Beetlejuice in California. Well, this is Beetlejuice from California. Just call me. When you ready, just give me a call. I'll start it, okay? 15 minutes. All right? All right. Talk to you back later. Right. I'm smoking my cigar right now. I'll talk to you back later. Mm. Just give me a call when you ready. This is Beetlejuice in California. This is Beetlejuice in California. Talk to you later, dude. Uh, <laughs> it's easy. <clears throat> Excuse me. <sighs> it's easier to work with a white tiger. Oh. Unbelievable. It's amazing how he can't repeat mm. how what they, he just heard. How they make a movie? <laughs> Funny, isn't it? I said it ten times. And, really, and it sickens him. He's like William Shatner when he works. Yes. Don't tell me. It sickens me to have you correct me. I just said it. You get the William Shatner text? Because it does remind me of that. He reminds me of Shatner, Orson mm. Welles, all those guys who complain when they're told how yeah. to do something. Just, I said this already. <laughs> you sicken me. You sicken me. Oh, don't ever tell me how to do it. There you go. You got it? All right. <laughs> Sorry, Fred. <laughs> there you go. Back to people getting together. Good. Could I have one more go, Lawson, please? Sorry. What? Could I have just one more take of that? Sir? Why? I just did it right. Yeah. Oh, look, I, I'm not used to having more than one person in there. One more word out of you and you go. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I take, well, I take directions from one person under protest, but from two, I don't sit still. But who the hell are you, anyway? No, I'm the engineer. Well, why the hell are you asking me for another one? Well, I thought there was a slight bunk, and I would like, just like to be safe. Jesus. <laughs> what is a gunk? Do you mind telling me what that it's is? Not a bang from outside. A bang from outside. <laughs> <laughs> Could I see Mrs. Rogers for a minute, please? Yes, certainly. Boy, uh, poor Mrs. Rogers. Oh, That's Orson Welles. an earful. Yeah. Same thing, though. <laughs> Be your truth. I, I just did it. Did it twice. What's a bonk? <laughs> you got the Shatner one or no? I think, I think this is it. No. Back at the line 149 and 151. If you read those again, have fun with them. The, the, the void is starting to affect you. You pale fellow well met. Um, please 
please don't tell me how to do it. It's sick of me. Sulu, check them. Spock, sabotage the system. Spock, restore the atmosphere. Spock, sabotage the system. I wish I knew what to do. Observations, Mr. Spock. Okay, we have line 193 again with uh, sabotage and sabotage. I don't say sabotage. <laughs> you say sabotage. I say sabotage. <laughs> That's the best. Uh, sabotage. He can say sabotage. He yeah. just won't say He it. doesn't say that. <laughs> Somebody drop down the song. Okay, so do me a favor. Wave at the camera, right? Hey! Not yet. <laughs> hey! Okay, not yet though, okay? But I tell you to, just wave at the camera, say it's Gary the Retard, and I'm gonna play Battle of Wits with Beetlejuice. Today. Battle of Wits? Yeah, with Beetlejuice. With Beetlejuice! Yeah, okay, go ahead. I'm gonna do Battle of Wits with Beetlejuice! Okay, ready? It's Gary the Retard. Gary the Retard! And I'm gonna play against Beetlejuice. I'm gonna play against Beetlejuice. Battle of Wits. Battle of Wits. Now say it yourself. Battle of Wits. The whole thing. Battle of Wits. So it's Gary the Retard. Gary the Retard. And I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play. A Battle of Wits. Battle of Wits. With Beetlejuice. With Beetlejuice. Now say the whole thing. I'm gonna do. <laughs> no I'm gonna do Gary the Retard. I'm gonna do Battle of Wits with Beetlejuice. You think you're gonna win? I think I'm gonna win. Why? Why? Why should you win? I need some money. <laughs> Feel you ready? Oh, I said uh, he's gonna right, promote talk about this. Gary. You know what I mean? Talk about Gary. Uh, I ain't doing about Gary. You think you can beat him? Yeah, I can beat him without. No, I can wear these. I can think of what I can think of more or less. You know what I mean? I don't want about getting drunk. You know? It don't mean thing. You know? I think a lot. How do you think you're going to do in the game today? Me? I think a lot, dude. I don't have to throw something. I think a lot, dude. Right. I, don't, I don't have to. I think a lot, you know? You know what I mean? All right. Well, I got my wife's side guy with me because he goes in there. You know, How many do you think you're going to get right? Hey, he's promote me. What you think I do? You know, so my wife say he thinks about it, you know. Right. Hey, he's my white guy. He goes in there with me. You know, I uh, I love when Beetlejuice and uh, Gary the Retard are here. So good to see my two favorite guests. Uh, Beetlejuice, let me say hello to you first. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, you are dressed in a great outfit. You've got on, uh, you look like a, a smart guy because you're here. wearing glasses. Yeah, you look smart. Yeah, studious. You look like you've been studying for the test. <laughs> studying for the test. I'm an Urkel, dude. Oh, you look, oh you're you an Urkel. Oh, I see. Urkel, Urkel thing. Urkel. Now, Casey, get that microphone close to Beetlejuice because I don't want to miss a gem. It's okay. I got it. Hey. You don't need I'm Casey, right? Here. No, I don't need Casey. I'm right here. All right. You're right there. Now, uh, with the program. Beetlejuice, I understand tonight you're throwing some kind of big party. Is that true? Yeah. What is that about? Oh, uh, it's Beetlejuice party. Beetlejuice party? Party on, brother. Right. Where is the Beetlejuice party? Yeah, where's it going to be? It's in Manhattan. Manhattan? Yeah. Now, it says on my sheet that it's in Staten Island. <laughs> yeah, it is in Staten Island. Oh, it is. Well, that's yeah. different from Manhattan. What do you think I'm buying y'all guys? Right. Huh? Yeah, I'm inviting y'all guys. Okay. Peter, just what's going on with that movie you just made? When is that coming out? Hey, it's coming out 24th, uh... <laughs> uh... Turn forth, uh... All right. Let me think about this. <laughs> You're not even sure when it's coming up, but it's probably going to be a... Turn it forth, uh... No, 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 no. You got to let me think. Go ahead, bro. Let him think. Let and let is there a time limit? This? This? <laughs> this isn't one of the questions <laughs> in the Battle the of the Wits. The 25th, honey. Right. The 25th, honey. Right. You right. come and bite me the 25th. You're not calling me, honey, are you? No, no, no. Ah, uh -huh. this, right, this honey right here. Oh. I see. My sweetheart right here. <laughs> All right, so now... Um, Are you going to have a premiere? Yeah, that's for you, honey. Oh, that's okay. for you. All right, okay, that sounds good. <laughs> you know, I think 
got now our other con- he's falling in love with Yeah, him. I think he's got love in his eyes today. Our other con- uh, are you in love with Robin? Is that it? Hey, I'm in love with Robin. Want to have sex with her? Ah, right. <laughs> well, that's the best offer I've had today. When is the last time you had sex? I mean, Me? full blown out intercourse. Me? Yes. I can have it any time, brother. I know. When is the last time you had it? Last time? Yeah. I had it in 1976, brother. <laughs> right. But no, you any, get... Any time. Now that Where you... were you born, Beetlejuice? Me? I was born in 1975, baby. Wow. Right. And a year later, you were having sex. Yep. That's right <laughs> out of the womb. So, right. Beetlejuice, uh, now that you're in a movie, I would imagine the women are coming on pretty strong. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Right. You're a big movie star. Yeah. They love it because they love it what I do. They know when I'm working. They know they love it. Carrie the Retard, let me say hello to you. Uh, Beetlejuice is your... You're going to play against Beetlejuice. I know you guys are friends. Yeah, I know you're friends. I haven't seen this guy in a long time. Uh, no, don't, don't, don't worry about it. We're playing against the lawn, brother. <laughs> don't worry. If you lose, you win. Right. Yeah. If you don't lose, I get the pussy. You know? <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. Hey, Gary. That's with, that's with heart. You know it. With Robin. Wait, you're not playing that's with Robin. Me. All right, Gary. Hello. Yeah, have you gained some weight? You look a little heavier. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what happened? What are you eating now? What what, what kind of diet are you on? Good life. Yeah, what happened to you? You gained a couple of pounds. Yeah, no, I have. Like, what happened? You used to have such a, a beautiful body. I used to be so envious of your such physique. A sleep. How much you weigh, dude? You look like you ate your television set. <laughs> no. no. How much ha- you weigh? How much you weigh now? How about you weigh first? How much you think he weighs, Beetlejuice? How much you think I weigh? No, I'm asking you. I don't know. <laughs> it's more better for you. <laughs> All right. How much do you weigh? Probably about 126. 126? 46. 46. 46. I think he weighs a little more than that. He might be a little more than that. 46. Yeah. And Gary, I weigh, I weigh, 140, I weigh 47, dude. I weigh 185. All right. Hey, uh, I weigh 130. I can pick her off and then fuck her on one time. All right. Okay. Now listen to me. Hold this a second. When are we going to get to this contest? Oh, we're going to get to the contest in a minute. Gary, what happened? I thought you got yourself a new set of false teeth. Where are they? In my coat pocket. You mean go get them? No, no, no. No, I like it without teeth the teeth. Right? your coat It's better for TV without the teeth. You gotta put them on, brother. Yeah. Why do you keep them in your coat? How can you eat? Don't keep them in your coat. Put them I in your the mouth. I tell my wife to keep hurting their mouth a lot. They hurt your mouth. So he yeah. hasn't gotten you. No, keep them on. Just get, them, get braces on them, brother. Braces? It holds them up. Hey, Beetlejuice <laughs> trying to help you, man. Give you some advice. Yeah, no. Beetlejuice, you got all your teeth, right? Me? Yeah. I got all of them. All right. Now it's time to play our game. Boss don't lose. I like, like, I got teeth too. But me? Hey, okay. I weigh like 48 pounds, brother. All right. I still got teeth. All right, yeah. let me tell you the rules of the game. I can't keep yeah, track yeah. of anything. Tell me the game, brother. I think Gary was trying to say he brought you a gift. Yeah. Oh, oh. she brought you a gift, huh? You should take it, honey. I will take I'll it. Buy Thank you. A CD you won't get jealous, will you? Like what kind of CD you like? He said you like. <laughs> what kind of CD you like? Well, Beetlejuice, you make a lot of money. You could treat a woman like Robin pretty good. Robin, I can make a sexy movie for her that's long with me. What is that? I can make a movie with, with her that's the long way she with me. Right, you would love to be with her. You'd love to have sex with her. Oh, yeah. What would you do to her? Me? Right. I love to have sex with her. Right. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, oh, let's get down to it. I am so it. flattered. Right. Well, you can get guys anytime you want, Robin. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, guys, let me explain. understand what's going on here? I'm going to explain the game to you. This will be interesting. We were trying to figure out who knows more stuff, Beetlejuice or Gary the Retard. Uh, I I do more digging than he can get to. You probably wouldn't. You think you know more than Gary? You think you know more? Yeah. Okay. And Gary, you think you know more? I I watched Double Jeopardy at home, so... You watch I Jeopardy. More Jeopardy. Yes. yes, he watched Jeopardy. I more Jeopardy at home. I can do more than that in 24 hours. I sit there and watch when, when you get these big old squares and they tell all these little jokes up on the screen. You That's know? Hollywood squares. I yeah. can do what? Way more squares. I can do like 20 squares in the one time. <laughs> wait a minute, I can do wait like a 20 lives every so, weekend. Beetlejuice. I can do on my computer. You day. watch Hollywood squares and you get 20 of the squares right just like that. That's like that on my computer, yeah. I he's on like a computer. Of course he's on the computer. All right, Gary, you nervous? Call me in the time. A little bit. You're nervous. I've done this before. All right. But you've seen contests like yeah. this, yeah. and when you're watching them on TV, can you ever answer the questions? Yeah. All no. right, this is what okay. is scary to me. <laughs> you tune in all these television shows, and they always have these, like, so-called normal people. Right. They never give guys like you a chance to prove what you know. Wouldn't you like to do Jeopardy? Right. 
You'd like to be on Jeopardy, Jeopardy? right? Yeah, I'd sure, love to. sure, of course. All right, so here's I've what we're going to do. I've been on Jeopardy for over fucking five years. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. Now here's how it works. Oh dear. Now listen carefully. And don't yell out wow. the answer. Now Beetlejuice, I'm going to ask you a question first. Okay. If you get it wrong, then I'll ask Gary. So Gary, right. don't yell out the answer until I ask you. I'm not. And Gary, he gets done. right? And Gary, when I ask you a question, Beetlejuice, you be quiet because you don't want to give him. The you don't, I don't want to say anything. I let you do the question. All right, there All you right. go. All right, yeah, everybody's now on you're the talking. same page. Okay. Are we ready to play, everyone? <laughs> Are our seatbelts on? Do either of you have to use the men's room before we start? Nah. No. Okay. I'll Here we go. All right. Here we go. Beetlejuice, you're first, and here is your question. Spell red. Red. L S T E R. All right. Is that your final answer? <laughs> My final answer. All right. That. I think that's close enough. But no. all right, all right, okay. The judges are saying that's not exactly right. I'm going to go to Gary. Spell red. R E D. That is one that right. Is wow. Correct. He got Gary it right. Has one. <laughs> You were that close. One, that one correct. You got one right. Big deal. But that's, you know, we're just beginning. You did it. You did it. Oh. You did it. All right. Beetlejuice, you were close. Mm. One letter. <laughs> All right. All right, Gary. It's your turn now. Here we go. This could be I a romp. You got to go back to Beetlejuice after every right answer that Gary gives. You know? <laughs> All right. I'll go to Beetlejuice first. Robin's right. Because you got the last one right. That's right. That's right. That's right. right. That's right. <laughs> Beetlejuice, I go to you first. That's only fair. Spell red. <laughs> L A T E R. All right. That's wrong. D. Gary, you go. Spell red. R E D. That's correct. All right. All right. You have two that's right. That's right. And. Beetlejuice, you have none right, but it's only two nothing. You could, you could, you could come back. I could come back with anything. yeah, anytime. Right, anytime. Let's go to anytime. our third question. Spell red. Spell red. Yeah. L a e t e r d. Close but not right. Go ahead, Gary. I e d. That is correct. You have three now. Three right. All right, he's doing good. All right, Beetlejuice, let's go. Let's go again. Oh. All right, all right. Then we'll move on Here's to the next Beetlejuice's question. question. <clears throat> Here's Beetlejuice's question. No. Beetlejuice, how many days are in a week? A week? Okay. In a week, seven days. That is that right. That a correct answer. The score now is three to one. Where'd you pull that out of? I got he a lot wrong, brother. You, man, you're on a roll. <laughs> Holy cow. Man, that shocked me. Good for you, Beetlejuice. Well, it's a pretty close contest. Yes, we <laughs> Whew. <laughs> All right. Who's ready? Okay, Gary goes now. That's Gary's That's right. turn. Okay. Gary, this is your question. Go ahead. <laughs> what color is a fire engine? Red. Wow. That's right. That's right. Man. Gary would be four for four. All right, Beetlejuice's turn. Beetlejuice, what state are you in today? Jersey City, New Jersey. Is that your final? Is that your answer? final answer? My final answer, New Jersey. New Jersey. You're in New Jersey right now. Jersey City. Yeah. All right. All right. That was close, but not right. Gary, go ahead. You're nodding your head. New York. Right. He got it right. Yeah. New York, Beetlejuice. You're in New York. Oh, well, no, we know it. <laughs> All right. It's okay. All right. It's only five to one. Okay. Beetlejuice, I know. I can feel it. Your time is coming. <clears throat> oh, my time is already coming, Betty. <laughs> All right, Beetlejuice, here we go. This is for Beetlejuice. Gary, you be quiet. Mm -hmm. What is the opposite of up? What is it? If you're not up... Where are you? What are you? Well, I'm down, baby. All right. There it is. I knew Holy it. Holy mackerel. Holy cow. <laughs> we got ourselves a contest. We got a contest, boys. <laughs> it's uh, Beetlejuice has two. Gary yeah. has five. It's That's very right. close. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, here we go. Gary, this is for you. This is for Gary. How many hours in a day? 24. Holy wow. cow. Man, That's right. You haven't ever been on Jeopardy? 
<laughs> oh, Robin. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, Beetlejuice, this is for you. What number comes between two and four? Beetlejuice. 25. Wait a minute, Beetlejuice. I want you to think about it. Think about it. Don't blurt out your answer. What number comes between two and four? Start from one. Mm -hmm. Don't don't, don't confuse him. Let him just give give me. Let me hear his thing. He's got the answer. Got all confidence. Look at your fingers. <laughs> you can use your fingers. I don't care. Thirty-six. Um, All right. Is that your final answer? Thirty-six. Thirty-six is your final answer. Yeah. Thirty-six. Very close, but that's not it. Let's go to Gary the retard. What number between two and four? Seven. Or is that your uh, final answer? All right, you both got it wrong. Now we got oh. a game. We're we'll listening to this. One, two, three, three. Oh, three. four. And three four. is the one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in case you're keeping score at home. Oh, that's why I said it. Yeah. What? <laughs> well, no, you said 36. Uh, six. Six. Yeah. If I said 36, that'd be 35. Right. All right, here we go. <laughs> We're almost there. It's 6-2. to two. Gary, you are ahead, wow. but Beetlejuice, you're coming on very strong. Close. Nobody needs to feel bad here because... Everybody's answered something, mm. which is amazing. Right. <laughs> Jesus. All right, here we go. Our final question. Who's ready? Beetlejuice? Okay, Beetlejuice first. What are the two ingredients of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Well, peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Yeah. You said it, you said it. No, go ahead. What are the two ingredients? Well, butter and jelly. What? Butter and jelly. Jelly and what? I think the judges will take... Butter and jelly. Butter and jelly? Yeah. Yeah. I think the judges will take that. Judges accept butter and jelly. You have three. (laughs) You got it right. I think we will take that. (laughs) <laughs> you got that right. Yes, now of it's... course I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was our final question. Oh, no. The, the contest is over? Oh, well, it's six to three. Gary's winning. Uh, right. uh, no final jeopardy. Head. You want a final question? Every, uh, All right, Beetlejuice, hey, final I, question. I got my car ready already, but hey, I got my car yeah. at the God dealers already. <laughs> they already got my cars ready already. All right, well, okay. I'm, ready, yeah, yeah, right. I'm ready to get my Jeep already, but I got two cars going. Gary, what are you doing tonight? Gary, what are you doing tonight in New York I City? I got a lot of money to pay on cars. You're going back to Oregon. You're going back to Oregon tonight? Yeah. You're going to fly to Oregon? Uh-huh. Uh, uh, did you tell them that Gary won? I mean, we didn't make a big deal. No, Gary that was didn't want it because I don't want want it. He didn't want nothing. <laughs> I don't want to tell him who won. <laughs> <laughs> it's better we don't get into a fight. You know what I'm saying? No, we don't want to get to no fight, but we right. partners, but he let me slide this time. All right. So I'm going to let him slide this time. All right. That's nice of you, That's Beetlejuice. Like Gary won. Psh. <laughs> Everyone wins. <laughs> don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Because I might get you, baby. <laughs> yeah. Don't say it. Because you probably not doing it, baby. You know who wins? 50 cities win. They all get to hear you, too. No, who's the baby? Baby, so you got to plan on me, baby. If I had asked you, Beetlejuice, what sex has a penis, male or female? Could you have answered that? Oh, I, I think uh, I think I, I do with a female because she's like it. A female. A female. Like, I like to do with a female because she likes it. All right. She likes sex, so you know. She likes one it thing the guy knows is sex. Likes it. He knows sex. I do it with her when she comes in Friday morning. Don't, she uh, the guys in. can't expect that. But Beetlejuice no, can't. That's for you, honey. Right, Probably right. that's for you. Beetlejuice can't take his eyes off you today. What I is, can't take my eyes off you, honey. <laughs> but I, that's for you, honey. I do sex with you. So it's right. probably that's for you. That's for me. All right, that's nice. As a rule, that's for you, probably. Beetlejuice, during the uh, contest, if I had asked you what planet are we on, would you? What would you have oh. said? I said in Jersey City, dude. Jersey, Jersey City. City. The that's right. Gary, what would you have said? What, what city? What, what planet? planet? What planet are we on? New York. Okay. All right, close That's enough. That's right. That's In right. New York, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry about a thing. I got news for you. You with me, dude. You're with, you're with Beetlejuice. You're with me, brother. That's you're right. Beetlejuice you know in what? a good mood today. Hey. <laughs> yeah. You know he's not. This guy, this guy should get my agent. He would love him. Hey. Hey, I love you should. <laughs> hey, I'm your agent. They're gonna do and business together. Peter, just you're saying you're gonna be Gary the Retard's agent? No. That's right. Couple you're more right. years. Couple more years. Mike, go ahead. You're on the air. 
That was about the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> it's got, my friend. I'm going to take care of him. Yeah, you got to take care of Gary. <laughs> you need to send that guy into Harvard to be studied. Beetlejuice is amazing. Yeah, he is an amazing character, Beetlejuice. Gary, what do you got planned? You going to be partying, or is there a website, or is there any... Uh, no, he's going to be partying with me, dude. Right. Uh, uh, let Gary hey, talk for a minute. No, it's my turn to talk, man. <laughs> but I am getting me computer. You can check me. You can check me in the email. Hey, I got you on the email already, brother. Hey, Beetlejuice, let me ask you a question now. If anybody comes up to you tonight and starts trouble and tries to to, to say things to you. Me? Yeah. I can take care of that. What are you going to do about it? Me? When this guy says this to you. Guys like that? Yeah. What hey. are you going to do? What are you going to do to him? Yeah. Me? Yeah. I'll put him down to his knees, buddy. Are you I'll tough? crush him down to his knees. Yeah, but are you tough enough? What about the people who say you're not tough enough to handle? Me? I can t I'm is tough enough. Well, really? What do you think I weigh? What do you weigh? I weigh 150, brother. Okay. One foot, 155. 155. You know it. They can't handle me. They ain't tough enough yet. They ain't, they ain't tough enough to talk to me. They got something to say to me, they ain't tough enough to talk. They don't talk the talk. They don't talk. They don't talk nothing. Hey, they don't want nothing to say because they ain't talk nothing. They don't want a piece of you. They don't want a piece of me. What if they get a piece of you? Hey, let them come on. All I got something right. so, so for them. What are you going to do, just walk away from him? I don't have to walk away hey, from him. Hey, you going to walk away from him? Me? Oh. I never walk away from him. I'm a tough yeah, guy. Okay, since I got cheated. I'm a tough guy. I've been doing this all my life, brother. I've been doing this all my life. I do not I do this every day. All right, come I ain't no if, tough guy here. Just, if I had I'm a been a tough guy just, a long time if I, had, if I had asked you during the contest, how many arms does the average person have? What would you have said? Me? Yeah. I got a big arm like 24 hours. 24. How many do you have? Me? How many yeah. you got? Me? Yeah. I got like seven, seven and 25 guys every day. How many arms do you have? How many arms you got? I got two arms. There you go. All right. All right. If I had said to you during the contest, name one ingredient in chocolate milk, what would you have said? Me? Yeah. I'm not going to write out in one 24 hours. All right. There you go. All right. That's what I thought. You're going to be smoking weed tonight at the party? Party? Party, smoking weed, doing everything else, brother. Really, drinking? Drinking, smoking, you know, having weed, anything you want to pick. All right, there it is. Anything you need, Howie. Hey, I'll get you something more pair you you not even know it. How tall are you, by the way? Me? Yeah. How tall are you? Yeah. I weigh like... Let's know how tall nah, you are. Let me talk, dude. Let me talk. <laughs> let me talk. All right. I weigh like... I weigh like... 825 pounds right now. All right. But now I'm up to 25. All right. There it is. Now I'm 45 I'm gonna, pounds right now. Hey, I want to ask you something. Oh, you're going to lift weights, man. I'm I weigh 25 you pounds. You're going to lift nothing, brother. I got something to say to you. No, nah, I got more power. No, Nobody no, couldn't no, lift no, what no, I can no, lift. Right to the top. What? I weigh 25 pounds. I lift no. like 28 pounds longer. I'm say something. Keep going for a minute. How are you? And Hank is getting along. Well, Hank. Hank the dwarf. Hank, Hank the, the dwarf, dwarf is not tough enough because he's not strong enough. No, I'm just saying. He ain't got no power. No, I'm Talk in that microphone, Gary. He don't have no power. What are you saying? I asked him why you and Hank can't get along. Why well, I mean Hank can't get along? Because he don't have no power, dude. I know you guys got to to be friends. Don't be trying to get each other. Well, uh, for you with it. No, he's mad at me. Hey, I'm going to no, deal with no, it. Hey, no. he's mad for it. No. Hey, I'm going to give it to him. No, don't give it to him. I'm going to give it to him real good. I'm going to give it to him real friends. good. He ain't got I the got power. keep him home. Well, he can keep him home, but he ain't have the power. No, dude. you guys got to really get along and quit your fight. He can, yeah. He can work on his power, but me, I'm more stronger. I, know you I got I more confidence in me, brother. You, you know out. what I'm saying? I got more confidence in me. He ain't out. got no power. I you can don't listen have to no this power. all day, boys, but I, I got to no end it at some point. He don't have no power. He has no power. Well, this is even, a great even, appearance. Even, even, <laughs> even how it's starting there. When he's dead, he don't, he don't have no power. You know what I mean? He's still sitting there doing his work. Know, you know? You know what I'm saying? He's there, he's there to do his work. He's getting paid what he got to do. But I'm making a movie. What he's doing, he's making his money, and I'm making my money. All right? Right. right. That's the way it's got to be. You know what I'm saying? We got to be friends, but what we got to do, we got to do it. 
You know what I'm saying? As far as more people out there, the people that don't know about it, you know what I'm saying? They know what they're talking about. I'm talking about. Hey, I would love to see you come. I would love to see you come to L.A. Oh, L.A. Yes. There's no problem going to L.A. I worked in L.A. for three years ago. What? So I just think I, that. I've been doing it for eight years. So I don't have no problem. All right, on our my phone, uh, Beetlejuice, on our phone right now. My people love uh, Beetlejuice. Right on our phone now is Katie Juice, your wife. Yeah, my wife. Put her on. Katie Juice. Yeah, put my wife. Beetlejuice. What's up, honey? When are you gonna get home? I'm gonna kick your ass. For what? <laughs> get your ass home. What? What for what? What's your life? You've been gone 24 hours. 24 hours you've been gone. I told you I'd be on in two weeks, honey. You've been gone 24 hours. <laughs> I told you I'd be on in two weeks, honey. I'm What's gonna the matter? Kick your ass. <laughs> what for? I'm gonna kick your ass. What for? You your, stuff, I'm going to hang tonight. Your wife sounds beautiful. What? I'm not with Hank tonight. I'm with tonight. you tonight. All right. Listen, Beetlejuice. Don't you, get mad about me. Well, let me tell you. You're a great guy, uh, and I see you're a good Jesus husband. Jesus Christ. You can't go home. That was Katie. No. Oh, I'll talk to her ass when I get home tonight, when I get on the phone tonight. Right. I'll explain to her ass tonight. Was that really your wife on the phone? Yeah. yeah she's, je good. she's jealous. <laughs> <laughs> she's jealous because I'm having sex with you. <laughs> That's why she's jealous. I right. <laughs> she's jealous. That's no. why she's pissed at me. I don't want to break up a marriage. Hold it. Uh, yeah, she's mad at me. Beetlejuice, your dentist is on the phone. Let me speak. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Put Scott, go ahead. Put him on. Oh, my God. You have to leave these guys on for the rest of the day. <laughs> I know. Talk to me, Doc. You guys have ever done. Yeah, they're, they're, they're fun. Yeah. I got to tell you. How many days I got? Correct. So many days there, Doc. Right. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, you guys. Hey, I got to come over for a checkout this weekend, Doc. All right. Listen, you guys have done a great job. You both got on I'm there. and like sorry that Beetlejuice didn't win. You're both real men because... It's okay. Cause you're it's not, okay. My wife was a little fucking pissed at me. Oh. All right. Take it easy. All right. <laughs> take it easy with the F word. Hey, how, it's okay. All right. What is it, uh, Howard, Katie? you know, uh, High Pitch Eric is here, too. He wants to show you what him and Beetlejuice do. I right, bring him in real quick, High Pitch Eric, for bring a second. Bring him in because I got something for you. Is that your buddy, I'm, High Pitch Eric? Yeah. I'll, yeah. Yeah, High Pitch is my, my buddy. I'm going to show you something. Oh, my goodness. Hi, I got something on his chest. Hi, Pitch, what are you doing here? Mikey, how, how you doing? You got something on his chest. What are you doing here? I'm doing that party time at Beetlejuice. Uh, you're going to be at the Beetlejuice party? Beetlejuice. Yeah, Beetlejuice I party. JollyDwarf.com. I got to tell you, I'm ill Beetlejuice. looking at you. Oh, what did you do to you? You are so repulsive. It's it's incredible. You're wearing a rainbow wig. Your he, your your shirt is off. Your belly is protruding. You look that a mess. Beads on yes. they throw down oh, this, in the this, world. This is show business. Party uh, down, baby. What is your routine? What do you do with Beetlejuice? Okay, well, what He's do you do with Beetlejuice? He down. rides on my back. All right, Beetlejuice, are you going to ride his I'll back? I'll ride on his back and party down, baby. Beetlejuice, take the headphones off. Party down, baby. <laughs> Wait a minute. Does he get down on all fours and Beetle just rides him yes. to the party? Yes. We're going to now see a demonstration yeah, he, of that. He rides over back and he high fives people when he... When he high fives, you make money, baby. You're going to be doing this in Staten Island? Tonight. Now I know what it's like to be a nursery school I'll teacher. I'll see you later on, sweetheart. Right, I'll see you talk later. to you later when you uh, come out. And right. Beetle just... Don't I want to talk to you private. Okay. Beetle. You're going to talk to Robin? Wife will be You're going to talk to Robin private? Beetle, yeah. don't. All right. Don't. That's something to get to you when you come out, too. <laughs> Beetle just you, don't strangle... Gary, Beal, just get on high pitch, Eric. Yeah, Here we go. He left the room. <laughs> Here he goes. Let me see what you guys do. Come on, baby. Okay, you ready? Watch his head. All right, that's enough. Get him down. I don't want to. We'll be back. Uh, Beal Juice is on high pitch, Eric's back. High five, baby. High five. Now, you know they've got your, your face drawn on high pitch, Eric. You're strangling me. Ah, uh, I'm not strangling you. Uh, he loves it, baby. Uh, what, he loves it. What is it, high pitch? Can I say a things? Yeah. Uh, I just want to plug my site. I have my new t shirts. Yeah. It's HP Eric. Dot com, e -R -I -C. HPL. I got my new t-shirt on sale on my website. Okay. I got it on and my website, web I just, PCO. I just want to... Beetlejuice, come on, stop smacking me. <laughs> also, hey, stop. Out, no, come on, stop doing that. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Beetle, come on. Stop it. She's <laughs> Beetlejuice, is that your is that your bitch? 
Oh. He's a little bitch. He's scared. Yeah, you're my, you're my little bitch too. No, you're uh, my bitch. Hey, you're, hey, hey, uh, he's was, scared. He's scared, was, girls. I was, Why come you wait, wait for him last year? At least I have more bitches yeah, than you. He's scared. I, I, Every time I'm on the stage, you ran. Uh, 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 you run from the pussy. You you're scared. Oh I love my two ladies, yeah. Diane and if, Nikki. If, 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 if she was there right now. If she would open her legs right now, you'd be scared right hey, now? Beetle, I'm going to have sex with your wife tonight. Nah, my, nah, my wife ain't going to nail you. Hey, Beetlejuice, uh, play with uh, high pitches. belly. If I would have did that, you would have been Billy. fucking dead right uh, now. Uh, All right, Beetle, okay. Don't curse, man. I told you. Nah, what I want to curse at you for? I would have, I, I would have killed you by now. I'll kill you tonight. Nah, hey, I would have like been, on, I would have, I would have put you on in the ground already. Dude. I'll, I'll have you would have been dead, dead already. Hey, Beetlejuice, feel I him up. Put you down on like six feet down, dude. You you feel up his down. boobs. Feel his boobs. No, don't, I your boots. Don't. If I would have seen your boots, you would have been down on the All right, down listen, already. we got to... Um, hey, you want to fill me up? I can fill you up, but you would have been down already. If you fill me up, you're a faggot. If I'm a faggot, here. you wouldn't talk to me like that because you would be scared. I, 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 had, I had scared of Negroes like that. You were scared oh. of me? You want to be scared of me? I ain't scared of you. You ain't scared of me? Be, no. be, be, put, him be scared of me put him I'm down. Put him, put him down. Put him down. I'm going to you be more scared of me. You so fat, I can put I you on the ground. Two minutes. I see that. I'm I'm you need to lose some weight. All right, I got to go. Uh, we'll be Two back. Two minutes. Uh, shut up. Bill. Hey, don't tell me. Hey. Oh, okay. You Steve Urkel. Oh, I'm Mother Steve Urkel. Hey, I'm Steve hey. Urkel. Yeah. All right, high pitch. Yeah, Leave him alone. Baby. Yeah. I'm Steve Urkel, baby. Yeah, suck Steve. this. Oh, hey, come on. Oh. All right. <laughs> Steve Urkel don't have that, that, baby. Steve Urkel has more pussies more than that. Steve, that Steve Urkel gets more pussy than you. Oh, Steve Urkel made more than that. He makes more than you, that's for sure. Yeah. Steve Urkel made more than that? Even Gary Coleman hey, makes more than you. Steve Urkel get on that pussy for a long while, fella. <laughs> I'm in better shape than you are. Oh, Steve Urkel lost his pants. Yeah. All right, all right. Uh, high no, pitch. He got inside his pants, but it's more can, better. Can, can you talk like Steve Urkel? I can. Oh, hey, high pitch. High pitch, hey, please. Can right. I do that? Oh, God, do that. Did I do that? You oh, little twerp. God, do that. All right, oh, listen. What happened? Listen, listen. <laughs> listen, you guys have a good appearance tonight. Yeah, you want to come? Shake hands. No. Yeah. Shake hands and make up. Shake hands and make up. Okay. Can I do that? Can I fuck your wife off? All right, all right. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. All right, all right. All right. All right. the party's over. You don't know what to say. I'm too sloppy. I'll just slap it on the ground. I'm going to have your wife tonight. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, you can't wait? Oh, I'm not, that's too bad. I'm not black tricks. Oh, don't worry about that. I'll take care of the rest of that in an hour. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'll put it on the fucking table and I'll oh, make well. it look like All right, okay. I'm going to be like two <laughs> seconds tonight. Oh, I got two seconds in the fucking... Uh, all right, all right. He's getting angry. All right, everybody with the F word. Listen. I don't, I don't curse, dude. All right, don't I, curse. I don't curse. I said right. Robin's starting to cry over here. You're all right. right, Gary. All right, we're going to be back right after these words. I'm going to calm everyone down. A great appearance. Gary the Retard, congratulations on your win. And uh, we'll be back right after these words. Somebody drop down the zone.